have the experience and the size to be champions in 92, but must overcome Peter Sims' young demons. South Gambia finished on top of the ladder after losing only one game during the season, but that was to the Cats. Both teams met in the second semi, where South Gambia won a rugged encounter to move into today's grand final advance at the park. The Demons' last premiership was in 74. Will it be a drought-breaking year for South Gambia? The Cats and the Demons, the Western Border League Grand Final, 1992. David Case is with me in the commentary box. David, your prediction? Well, Jim, I've uh, watched this young South Gambia side develop uh, all year under the astute guidance of uh, Peter Sims, and uh, he certainly has done a magnificent job with the South side. Grumpy Smith side from Casterton. You can't go past it because they, uh, they've they been there and uh, they've done it before. They played here last year and got beat, and no doubt that it was still in the back of their mind. But for me, Jim, I think South Gambia. David's gone for South Gambia. I've gone for South Gambia. The Cats may answer that. We'll take a short break. Be back with the opening bounce of 1992 Western Border League Grand Final. If you're thinking of buying a new television, make sure you talk to Radio Electrics. Right now, you can buy a large flat screen, 59 centimetre remote control stereo television with Teletext for just $11.99. Or you can rent for just $10.63 per week. Plus, you get a TV and video stand on casters with glass door for free. That works out to be the best value TV of its size in town. And while you're there, check out this Atasia remote control VCR. It could be in your home for just $5.26 per week. Radio Electrics, Mount Gambier and Millicent's. Australia's still Your local independent steel dealer in Millicent is Bruce Clayson from Clayson Motors. And in Narricord, see Alan Johnson from Small Engine Services. Local sales, local service and local spares for the full range of chainsaws and brush cutters. Australia's still working at Clayson Motors Millicent and Small Engine Services Narricord. Australia's still working. If there's water involved, then you'll find Peter Jennings pumps in it. Davy pumps for any application around the home or on the land. Australian-made Davy products, quality, tough, reliable and ready to handle any situation. Introducing Davy Laura, stainless steel submersible pumps and borehole pumps. Stainless steel Italian excellence. Peter Jennings Pumps Workshop and qualified pump mechanics are set to fix and maintain your pumps. If there's water involved, you'll find Peter Jennings right in the middle of it. Peter Jennings Pumps, Commercial Street West, Mount Gambier. Umpire Craig McAllister gets us underway. 1992, you're advanced at a park, and it's a Western Border League Grand Final. The Demons to the left with the wind, and the Cats, Caston and Cats, going to the right of screen. Immediately the centre bounce. It will be a free kick to Philip Saunders, and immediately Saunders into the action will kick long towards that half-forward line. From behind, the spoil will come in. That time, Byers got over the top. Comes to Nigel Allen. He's taken off the ball. Kick goes in that time from number 12 for South Gambia. That was Terry Katanji. He's given away the free kick, and the Cats will clear through Byers. Back towards that scoreboard side. The outer side of the ground advance at a park, and a huge crowd for Western Border League football. The start of this, the grand final in 1992. The ground in perfect condition as McGinley went in hard. Free kick to Tanch, not paid. The ground it comes. Ryan goes over the top. Free kick to Casterton. They'll get the second of the match, and Tommy McGowan will take it. McGowan kicking from the centre. Goes long towards half forward. Glynn got hands to it. Will be paid, Wayne Glynn, and will cross down to the boundary line now. Our man down there as the Demons go forward is Andrew Bain. Thank you, Jim. Well, after a week of rain, I'd say we've got the pick of the days, although there's been a spot of rain just now. The wind in the reserve played havoc with the game. The side kicking to the left will probably have about a three-goal advantage. But since Caston have been on the field, it's turned around at least four times. At this stage, I'd say the attacking side is the scoreboard side. In the room before the match, the Casterton room was very workmanlike. They had a job to do. South Gambia were fired up. And Peter Sims told them they had to, had to be ready to take the best, most physical pressure they've taken this year. So all in all, we're in for a good match. Thank you, Andrew. We'll get down to you as the game progresses here, and there'll be a free kick paid out of this South Gambia. A first scoring shot may be coming. It looks like Han with the ball. He'll come back, and the centre-half forward will kick from inside 50. In fact, it's not Han. It's number 16 for the South Gambia side. It's Jason Han, in fact. Nice kick at the ball, too, J uh, Jason Han, Jim. So uh, he should be able to kick this. He's got the breeze blowing the right way for a right footer. Comes inside. 40, 40 metres out. Jason Han. It's not too good off the boot, but I think it hit the top of the post. And the first scoring shot in the 1992 Grand Final goes to Jason Hand and a minor score to South Gambia. And they lead by that, by that narrow margin of one behind. 
Well, the wind is blowing from right to left on screen as the kick-in comes from Guthrie. And the mark almost taken out there by Craig Kelly, but there will be throw in right forward pocket for the South Gambia Demons. Huge crowd advance to the park. The wind going to the left, but it is gusty. And the Demons perhaps with three or four goals uh, advantage at this stage with that breeze. McGowan is caught, comes loose, players go in hard. Prosperi Porter went in, kicked off the ground. McGregor will get a lead in the race for this. Townsend will come and meet him from half forward. The body's almost clashed. Townsend went through, comes out. McGowan, couple of important touches. Townsend kicks in short. In front is Williamson. No, it's not. In fact, it's Mark West right out there. West will bring it in board to Allen. Good, Good player, Nigel early. Allen. And the Cats moving it well into the breeze. McGowan again on the left foot towards full forward. Williamson, how will the legs stand up? He takes the first touch. His, cl his claim goes to the boundary line and players will take it over. There'll be a throw in left forward pocket for the Caston and Cats. South Gambia defending. The ball in now in the, in the uh, left hand forward pocket for the uh, Caston side going against this slight breeze here. Ryan to do battle in ruck with West. Ryan over the top. Comes to the McGar to the medalist in uh, Robbie Elliott. McGowan though for about his fifth possession. Nigel Allen. Very skillful player Allen. Very quick and mobile on his feet. Little chip pass here out towards Ox Harris, Kevin Harris, the assistant coach at South Gambia, gets a very important touch and carries the ball over line. And Jim, already in this game, the ex-BFA player in McGowan is starting to stamp his mark on this game already. Very experienced as we just cut from a shot of Peter Sims and the coaching bench of the South Gambia side. He's done a terrific job, named coach of the year, Peter Sims, in the Western Border League. And a very big honour for him, but he wants greater glory today. Players going hard, there's Nolte, being under an injury cloud. Players battle hard, taken away by South Gambia that time through David Chant. Sitting underneath it in defence that time is Mark Jenkinson, and the big fella takes the mark for the Caston and Cats. The Ruckman switches play towards this, the grandstand side. McGowan sits under the ball, important touch in front of the middle is Robbie Elliott. McGowan, left foot. Matthew Murphy in front. Elliott and McGowan. McGowan will get there first. Boundary line will close in on both. What a wonderful clash that's going to be, Jim. If those two players play together all day, we're going to see many fine clashes here between Elliott and McGowan. I two think we'll come players. back, David, to the fact of which team in the end and yes. individual players uh, have the fresher legs. That favours South Gambia. Beautiful hit by Ryan. Well read by the medalist. Off goes Elliott. Long kick towards goal. Sitting underneath the back there, Guthrie. Had a good final series, Guthrie, so far, Jim. A very exciting player. Kicks it wide to Byers, and Byers will take the mark in front of Patrick O'Donnell. The wind gusting up again. They're kicking into it, Casterton. Playing into centre-half uh, back, and the mark taken by Scotty Ferguson. Running player, Guthrie. He hands it on in turn to Nolte. Back in the side after being out with injury. Kicks in short, McGowan. David's caught him as having a lot of touches early. Big mark from behind, taken by number five, and that is Fisher. Brett Fisher, left foot, towards half forward, holding up in the breeze. Coming out from behind is Williamson, but the free kick will go to number 34. David Argent hanging onto his arm there off the ball, Jim. Justin so. Munro with the ball. He'll kick from on the 50-metre line into the uh, howling wind. ex Rain boy, Jim. Munro, right foot across goal. Big marks wanted, spoiled from behind. South Gambia do well, comes to ground, kicked off the ground by Argent. Allen has space, fumbles, closing in on 50. Big kick towards full forward by Allen. In defence, good mark taken down there for South Gambia by Matthew Fear. Been a surprise packet for South Gambia this year, Jim. Matthew Fear had a very fine season. Left foot now towards the centre wing. Jenkinson and uh, Duncan McGregor, but the man in front uh, who will get it every time, this will be Duncan McGregor. And he will now drive South Gambia into attack from the half-back line. Duncan will swing onto his left foot now and drive the ball through the centre corridor here at Vance the Park towards uh, where we have uh, Jason Hand cross to uh, Robbie Elliott. Cross free Porter now inside on his right foot and there's the first major score for South Gambia. A very, very good touch by Jason Hand there. Laid the ball off to Robbie Ransom and across to uh, Renato Crosby Porter and a very, very fine goal and South Gambia now lead one goal one to Cassidy yet to score even though Caston and maybe have had major, the major part of the football in this first stages of the uh, 1992 grand final here at Vanceton Park. Very important kick for goal. He was under pressure. Prost reporter, he got it onto the right boot. They were coming hard at him, but he had the poise to steady. And interestingly, David, when that goal was kicked, the entire six on the back line for South Gambia went to each other and congratulated each other for that good defensive play. And no doubt, Jim, that's what's carried this South Gambia side to as far as what it's been this year. McGregor. 
got it to Glynn. It was a first touch by Saunders initially to set it up. West sits under it and takes a very good defensive mark and on hand. Good series too, Kelly, Jim, hasn't he really? Craig Kelly had a very good final Kelly it was. Got it across to Black who kicked it in short to McGowan. McGowan's running through that outer wing. Left foot kick, penetrates over centre half forward. Back too long for Williamson. Capewell takes the mark. He plays on. Goes over the top. It's partly smothered. His body weight carries him through. Good handball. Away comes south. They'll kick it from the half back line through fear. Well over half forward. Elliott in front. That's Paul Elliott. Can't take control. Byers is there to tidy up. Good defensive work by the Cats. And there's been some good footy early as they carry it to Allen. Allen will give it back to Byers. The good one too. With the left foot towards half forward. Williamson on the lead. At his bootlaces. Can't take control. Comes back. The Cats go forward again. Quick left foot kick. The defenders are there for the red and whites. They'll go to the boundary line this time. Seek the sanctuary and over the line it will go for throw in. Left forward pocket for the Cats. I tell you what, Jim, I don't know. I might disagree with Andrew Bain. I reckon that breeze has picked up since the reserves. I think now that the way that ball's carrying, it's definitely carrying a lot further down towards this, uh, the, the, the end opposite to the commercial street end. Ryan. Cats didn't go through now. Allen. Long towards full forward. Spoil from Williamson will go to the right forward pocket this time. I reckon it's three or four goals, Yes, David. Jim, that, that wind socks really uh, standing quite uh, out from the pole now, which seems a case of what the wind's going straight down the ground. Boundary line throw in. In Casterton's right uh, forward pocket. Ryan at it again there with uh, with West. Off the pack to play number six for Casterton in Craig Byers. And a nice left foot shot on goal. And the first major for the Casterton Cats as they go along to one goal. Fisher, in fact, it was, Fisher, David. Sorry, number my five. apologies. Was I Fisher. thought it was number six in buys. Jim, I apologise for that. But a lovely left foot kick anyway across his body. And that leaves South Gambia leading one goal one to Casterton, one straight yeah, goal. Brett Fisher got in. He picked it up on that left foot. A very important touch. In fact, Ryan got it towards his rover, but it was Fisher who took the loose ball and a very skillful left foot yes, kick. Yes, Jim played a lot of football in Darwin, so uh, obviously his skills will be very high being used to playing in the dry conditions. Well, the weather conditions today, we'll see. <laughs> Craig McAllister puts the ball down the middle of the ground here. Ryan once again has won the majority of the tap as it comes across here. Loose ball. Cassidy and fight desperately and get the ball out here through Murphy now. Murphy gets his body in over the ball. Young Matty Murphy. The ball runs loose. Loose for the boys of Cassidy and Cats. McGowan's in there fighting for the ball. Out comes uh, Kelly and uh, playing up with uh, Mick Townsend, sorry for Cassidy. In towards Robbie Elliott, the, the medalist, and takes a fine mark over uh, Nigel Allen. Robbie Elliott now in the centre of the ground. Nice short pass in, looking for Jason Hand, but Kelly once again, good defensive skills. We have Caston in the box seat here now. Players footing in for the ball there. It runs loose again to Jason Hand. Cross there towards uh, Beer. Out here towards Prosperi Porter again, but a free off the ball, and it'll be taken by the captain for South Gambia in, uh, in Zobel, who's inside the 50 metre line now, Jim, and uh, Ken Zobel kick this goal. He's a backman by nature, but no doubt... Uh, he will have a fair because he's got the breeze right behind him now. And no doubt Andrew Zobel will make the best of this kick. Shouldn't be much problem for distance. In fact, he gives it to McGregor. Perhaps he didn't think he could get the distance. Duncan McGregor bombs it to the square. Sims in front. Not paid. Not in a grand final. Got to earn those. Almost a young man. Almost took a big one. Picked up from the front of the pack. South going to attack in the pocket. It'll be taken by number 15, Mark Winterfield. Had a good year, Mark Winterfield, Jim. Exciting young player. Difficult angle, David, from there. Yes. Although, Jim, if he likes to prop it towards the front of the goals, I'd say that breeze could nearly carry the ball through from there. He'll need to be intelligent and just sort of prop the ball up and hope the wind will grab it and just drag it through at the last minute. Matthew Fear. For the second for the Demons. Beautiful off the boot. That's a goal, Matthew Fear. Delightful kick. Matthew Fear brings up the Demons second. That's a big one for them. In fact, it's Mark Winterfield, not Matthew Fear. Number 15, Mark Winterfield. Fear plays in the back line. That's how excited I was with that one. What a wonderful good kick, kick for goal, Winterfield. Yeah, very good kick off. off 2-1, the, 13, the Demons. The Cassidy and Cats are one straight goal. We've played for nearly seven minutes, just over seven, and missed the first quarter. 1992, Western Border League Grand Final. You're watching eight sports, and you're seeing all the action from Vansetter Park in the Western Border League. South skills very evident and very prominent so far at the start of the game, Jim. Mark Winterfield kicking a goal on the angle. Vital one for them. Prosper Porter got the first. In just, between that. I just noticed off the ball too, Jim. I reckon Buff Carlin from Caston has got the job on the tagging job on Elliot, I reckon, because I've seen him move in now and they've uh, been passing as Caston screened through. Williamson, beautiful pass and good movement out of the centre. Three or four vital touches by the Cats. And again, McGowan setting some of that up. The hand pass out to McGinley. And McGinley's pass was centimetre perfect to the running Williamson. He kicked from 50. 
Beautiful long left foot kick, holding up into the wind. That's significant, David, but it's offline. And the wind is in gusts. Yes, it seems to be swirling in there, Jim, but I just, uh, I couldn't help picking up that uh, obviously uh, Caston have given the job to Carl and Demian here, because wherever he goes, Carl has got him. Cape ball now with a beautiful 60 metre kick towards McGregor. Murphy up high. Kelly again with an intelligent tap over. This comes loose to South Gambia. Patrick O'Donnell, a very exciting player. Here's Elliot. He's got away from Carlin. And a nice shot by Elliot. Good skills, but unfortunately to the right-hand side of the goalpost for Robbie. And the ball will be kicked back in once again by Castellan through Scotty Ferguson. You can see when the skill level is this high as it is in this competition that you really just need one or two touches. You can carry the ball the length of the ground. The opposition don't even look like touching it. No, it was a good piece of play. And unfortunately, Robbie Elliott, the kick just fading right, would have been a big goal, would have been a lifter. They lead by seven points, the Demons. They do have the breeze. Kicked wide to Guthrie. This way, that away, Guthrie. Awkward looking left foot kick. Taken by Munro towards half forward. Here's Kelly down over half forward now, Jim. Players running everywhere. Centre half forward. It goes for the cast of the catch. Bodies will crunch on that one. In went Carlin very hard. He was one of them. McGregor got the loose ball and drove it forward. Advantage played in front is Mark Jenkinson. And Jenkinson takes a big, strong mark at the fence towards McGinley. McGinley goes inboard. Left foot kick. Wobbles towards half forward. Ryan sits under it. He'll make mark defensively. Demons by seven points. We played for ten minutes. And gave a chance term. a bit groggy after that too, Jim. It was a pretty hard body tackle there, but he stood his ground and did a good job. Prost Reporter, Carlin Jim. came hard at him and didn't uh, ask for anything and uh, unfortunately Chant was in the way. Prost, Prost Reporter. Reporter. Done a good job, Jim. He drives the ball down here now towards Paul Elliott, but over the back, Jenkinson dropping back that last line of defence and Caston will switch the ball here to the, grand side, uh, to the grandstand side looking for Nolte. Nolte in possession now. Can't get all the ball. Now gets the handle on the ball. Good skills, Nolte. Good tackle. Caston will run the ball out now. And the ball dribbles over the line through player number 15 for Caston in McGinley. Who's he wanted a free kick, so David. In fact, he looked at the ball. I think he had every reason to, too, I for think, the trip. For the trip, I think he wanted. Boundary throw in right in front of the South Gambia box here now. And South Gambia is looking very good in the opening stages. The ball comes in. Guthrie and Ryan. Guthrie over the top. Ryan got his fist to the ball, however, and the ball's forced, forced back over the line again. And Jim, so far, many fine clashes across the ground here at Bairdson Park. Interesting that Guthrie's in the ruck on Ryan. They've gone for the quicker legs. Jenkinson sitting back in that full back line while they kick against the breeze. He's taken some significant marks. Hit out Guthrie. Player coming in, Fisher. McGinley's had some touches. Gave it back. The Fisher was too hot for him. South Gambia close in. The boundary line looms. Mark Winterfield was there to take it over in front of Darren Carlin. And the boundary umpire to put us back underway in front of the grandstand. First quarter, 1992 grand final on eight sport. Western Border League from Vansitter Park. Actually, Guthrie might worry Ryan a little bit, Jim. He's got that extra spring. And he's certainly, uh, he's got good skills. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Wayne Glynn now, strong. Ox Harris through the centre of the ground. That beautiful right foot pass towards uh, Paul Elliott. And, uh, but unfortunately for the South Gambia players, the ball is over, over and out of bounds in the left-hand forward pocket here at Vance Park. And uh, by G, when Harris gets the ball, doesn't it look exciting? He's an exciting player. The Ox, I've nominated him to be best on ground. I can tell you that McGowan's already had six kicks on Elliott. Not a bad effort so far. Nolte now brings the ball out towards Carlin and Elliott, but uh, experience and a fine mark by Robbie Elliott, who's also opened up very fine. What a great player, player, David. Magnificent balance, Jim, hasn't he? Elliott now in towards the full four line. Players get in front. Saunders spins out of the pack. Comes out here towards Katanz. Can he score on his right foot? And I think he's put it through. Terry Katanz. Smart hands, Phil Saunders. Overlaid the ball. Katanz off the wing and he runs through and kicked a very easy goal. And that now leads South Gambia leading three goals, two to cast it at one goal, one. Very good movement, Saunders. He had the vision to see the side player. That's part of the team pattern for South Gambia, the running side players. Give your, give your teammate options. Saunders saw the option, gave it to Katanch, and Katanch, looking down from that wing, popped it through, no mistake. Jim, sure hands are good hands, but sure quick hands are even better, aren't they? As their one-touch player, Philip oh, Saunders. Yes, yes. Excellent. And good kick to finish from Katanch. Had the wind behind him, but he had to guide it. He did it well. And they go to a lead of 13 points, the Demons. And I'd, I'd say that Peter Sims would be very happy at this stage. Jim Ryan doing an excellent job on the centre. Harris. High tackle on Harris, not paid. Elliott <laughs> went down. He'll get a free kick. 
dropping the ball. No, go against him, and it will go into the middle of Mark West. Luck by Robbie. He was in getting the ball there. The first one was missed. Should yes. have been a free kick to Harris. Out of the centre goes West into the breeze. Caston into the right of screen. It's a three or four goal drift to the Demons. Picked up that time as by Caston. Plays grabbed by Glynn. And the free kick will go against Mickey Townsend. It's been pretty prominent too, Glenn at centre half back. Jim had some important touches. Champion schoolboy athlete, this this young man, but uh, suffered a very bad knee injury, and he's fought back very well from that. Ball comes from behind, a chance for Prost Reporter. He'll kick on the right foot towards that half forward flank, carries that position. Guthrie will get there first, make sure it goes over the boundary line. And the kick from Prost Reporter, not a very educated one. He should have been looking to centre that, David. Yes, Jim, I would have thought he should have got his eyes up a little bit and centred the ball in towards the centre half forward area there, but unfortunately, it's a lot easier sitting up here than what it is being down there, Jim. Absolutely, and the Demons by 13 points. Three goals, two, the one goal, one. You're watching eight sport, the replay of the 1992 grand final. South Gambia go forward again into that forward pocket. Here's a chance this time for O'Donnell. Getting the loose ball, he'll need to do something clever. Over the shoulder, Patrick O'Donnell has kicked the goal. Very good perseverance. And I tell you what, Jim, it's very, very evident to me, and I said off air before the game that the ball was going to be loose a lot today, which would obviously favour South Gambia. And so far, South Gambia are winning all the clinches on the ground, Jim. They're well, too, they've recruited very well. Peter Sims has recruited very well. He's, he's picked the eyes out of some mid South East teams. He's gone for Prost Reporter and O'Donnell and a couple of others. One thing they can do, they're very quick. And not only that, Jim, they come from sides that were very su su successful and they know what winning's all about. That's a very important ingredient. Sometimes you get to see players who make the step up to Western Border League and they find it just a little bit too uh, much of a tempo. But Peter Sims has done very well with his selection of players. He's picked quick players, not necessarily big names. Here's O'Donnell again, racing into an open goal. Patrick chips away at that northern end and O'Donnell has two in a minute. I tell you what, Jim. Caston will most definitely want to do something about their centre center area. Catance is absolutely killing him off the wing. And Mick Ryan has got his hand on the ball every time it's been in the centre square. Mick West, un unfortunately, has not made a contest of the centre bounces. And I said he got Jen Jenkinson Jenkinson's back in there again. Jenkinson's come back in. There's number six uh, on number 44. That's uh, Byers on O'Donnell. But O'Donnell's been too quick for Byers. Back in the centre. McAllister to get us underway. Ryan, number 13 in the foreground. The Demons looking good, leading by 25 points. Jenkinson hard against Ryan. Ryan got the ball as it came down. Jenkinson uses the body. Prosper Porter out of the centre. In front, Byers this time will take a defensive mark in front of O'Donnell, who makes him earn it. Good pressure by Patrick O'Donnell. Got caught behind, but made sure that Byers used his one to kick. Byers to click, kick from inside the defensive 50. He'll go back through the centre with that right foot. Jenkinson in front from behind. Good for McGregor. Nolte looks a little bit slow. Comes to him now. On the pickup, can't be 100% Nolte, he's had a very bad ankle injury, comes in to Glenn, who outmaneuvers West easily, hand passes to the side player, they go running through Katanch, towards half forward, Saunders a big leap, Guthrie a good spoil. Why no free kick, Jim? Didn't take possession, umpire lets it go, he's got a sense of drama, I think it looks spectacular, Guthrie Paul didn't have the ball and he'll get the free kick. Neil Guthrie, the veteran defender. No, he's hurt, Jim. Off the ball here, David Nolte is down Well, hurt. he didn't look to be running freely. I called that just a moment yes, ago. I McGowan gets that. another kick. That could be kick eight in the opening turn towards West. Glynn's had his measure yes. to ground to Katanch. The running players tidy up for the big fellas. Very good team pattern as Katanch towards half forward. From behind, Jenkinson, good mark. Mark West has certainly got his hands full with uh, Glynny at centre half back there, Jim. And I think Caston are falling down across there. Maybe they need to bring Williamson out to get a bit of drive out there. Jenkinson goes long. Good spoil by McGregor. To ground it comes. Away from Fisher. Grabbed by Murphy is McGregor. Nolte not running freely. Saunders goes hard at him. In comes Fisher to support. Left foot kick. He's kicked the only goal for Caston in this first term. Towards half forward. West tries to get a palm down. Chance for Townsend. No, it's not. In fact, it's Danny Clark. That was Townsend who went without it. Players come back on him. It comes loose. Going down South Gambia will get a free kick and it could be Terry Catanch yeah, Definitely leading no, South to the fear. South definitely leading first of the ball, Jim. Kicking it in that time for South Gambia. David Chant, in fact, I'll get it right. McGowan chips in, takes a very good mark. Kick number nine, McGowan. Through half forward. Williamson went high, will give away Jim, a free kick. I just, that is a little bit inconsistent umpiring there because Phil Saunders, the other end, flew high, pushed the player out, didn't take the mark, nothing done. And 
there we have it. And that's the sort of things that uh, maybe we need to look for. Absolutely right. It was inconsistent, but it was Stephen Phillips that time, not Craig yes, McAllister. Yes, I agree too, Jim. The interpretation by Stephen Phillips, more correct for mine. Yes, I agree with Steve. There was a good decision, but unfortunately, uh, just got to get a little bit of consistency into it. McGregor, long left foot kick towards half four. Jenkinson in front. He's had a terrific influence on this game. He's just playing sitting. that loose man there, Jim. Loose man, as you called it, David, and the big fella, Mark Jenkinson, goes through the centre. Looks for Nolte. Rather, it's Allen. Hand passes inboard Munro. Quick kick, nobody. How do they go? Matthew Fear. And Jenkinson marks again. Going towards 20 minutes in the opening term. Good start by the Demons. The Cats kicking towards their right half forward flank. Running for the ball. Townsend no, comes loose to Nolte. Fit. Right foot kick, he's under sufferance that time. Sitting under it, Williamson. Good score by Capewell. How good's that back line back there, Jim? David Chan tidies up from the fist of Capewell. Catanch, the running player, he's got metres on Allen. Chips in short towards that boundary line. In fact, he, in fact, he's put down after he got rid of the football. Out of bounds on the full, Jim. The boundary umpire deemed that the ball was out of bounds on the full. And Cassidy will take the free kick here on the far side of the ground. It'll be taken through Nigel Allen on the centre. Handball across to McGowan. McGowan now inside of 50. Drives the ball in deep and long. Unfortunately, though, for Caston, they have no one at home. Nick Ryan drops back. Cross here towards uh, Zobel. Andrew Zobel now. Duncan McGregor will try to lay the tackle. Didn't have to. Zobel steps around him very easily. Comes out here towards Winterfield and Guthrie. Winterfield push Guthrie out. And uh, good umpiring by umpire Steve Phillips. And a free kick will go to, and to uh, Neil Guthrie, the ruckman for Caston, back pocket player. Comes out wide now. Guthrie drives the ball in. Deep into South Gambia's forward line. In front there was Cassidy and fighting hard for the ball. Darren Sims now for South Gambia. Gets around and gets a clever little kick to touch through Jason Hand. Sorry, Win Winterfield it is. He stood his ground very well there, Mark Winterfield. And now he'll drive the ball in for South Gambia. Up over half forward here. Patrick O'Donnell, Jason Hand. Jenkinson's big arms goes up though. Can't take the mark. Players fighting for ball at ground level. Phil Saunders takes the ball. Patrick O'Donnell, cross to cross reporter. Can he kick the goal? Oh. Out of bounds on the full. Should've that was a terrible kick. Step. Paul Elliott on screen me. there, Jim, was on his own. And unfortunately, I don't think Paul was talking to him, but he could have taken another step and dished the ball over for an easy goal. Terrible execution from Prosby Porter. That was a gimme. One that they've just thrown away. Terrific spoil and steal by uh, Philip Saunders. Kick by Matthew Murphy. Back towards this, the grandstand wing. McGowan goes uncontested. In the, in, well, started off uncontested, coming late. Number 15 for South Gambia, Mark Winterfield. McGowan, kick nine. Glynn, spoil. Good spoil on West, and it goes over the line. More and out importantly of for McGowan, Jim, he's taken five marks, so he's uh, he's been a very prominent player in the first quarter. Leading kick winner at the moment. We'll give you other stats as we get them. Jenkinson against Sims, good punch. Robbie Elliott, the 1992 West End medalist. And he explained strangers' pleasantries with Darren Carlin, number 25. They're still at it. <laughs> throw in approaching 25 Harris big hand pass inboard Katanch went without it met solidly Fear numbers there McGregor Munro with him there's Harris you think Jackson maybe you think Townsend. maybe Jim that uh, Casson are a bit body conscious at this stage Nolte let's see how fit he is hand pass on the Townsend They've got to do something, David. They're not as quick as South no, Gambia, right. so maybe it has to be the body. Murphy, important play, this one. Fisher sitting under it. Can't mark. Good defensive stuff by South Gambia back there. Should have been a free kick. West kicks it out of bounds in the free. Free kick, Jim. Free, free kick, kick after will this come back to West. Interesting umpiring decision by Stephen Phillips. South Gambia thought they should have had one a moment earlier. Good strong work by Capewell, but unfortunately it was just a fraction late. Andrew Zobel should have got a free kick, I think, a little earlier. It'll come back to Mark West and have a very important kick for goal. It's an important kick this, Jim, I'd say, at this late stage, stage of the first quarter. And uh, Mark West will be looking to kick this uh, this goal here and perhaps give uh, Cassin a bit of a chance at quarter time. Well, they need to be within about three or four goals. They have the breeze. Should West kick this, they're in within uh, 20 points. They currently trail by 26. Be a fairly difficult shot though, Jim. Capel's a long way back off the mark and will no doubt will run in to try to put him off. West should start it right, he does. The wind will get Lovely it. No, kick. it won't. Mark West kicks it straight through the middle. Big goal to the Cats, kicked by Mark West. Number 12 from a free kick. The Castadon Cats go to 2-1.
rather 2 1 13 and South Gambia 5 2 32. 19 points in fact is the margin and I guess if you went in a quarter time 19 points behind if you're Alan Smith you'd be fairly satisfied. Yes I think you'd have to be Jim with that wind the way it was early on the quarter although I do believe as you said earlier on that the wind is gusting around in quite a fair bit so it's pretty hard to tell how much advantage it has. Well, Nolte's had a couple of important kicks of late. We questioned his fitness. He seemed to be carrying an injury, but he got those important touches. Good tap on by Han. Elliott running onto it. Will feed it off this time to Winterfield, who went without it. Coming in, Black is back there. Good defensive duck by the Cats, and they tie it up inside the 50-metre line for the South Gambia Demons. 5 2 32 2 one, 13. You're watching the 92 Grand Final in the Western Border League on 8 Sport. A couple of nice, clever tap-ons then, Jim, wasn't there, by young Jason Han in particular. Matt Ryan now gets the ball and Robbie Elliott got the ball inside. Here it is again, Patrick O'Donnell over the top to Paul Elliott. That is a goal. And once again, Jim, the very, very prominent evidence of South's smart hands and very, very quickness around the alertness around the packs that's hurting Caston severely. Well, they're very quick, David. You caught it very well. And their first touch, too, they give it off as soon as they get it. They know there'll be a side player and they are creating havoc. South Gambia make an interchange here. Yeah, we'll cross down to Andrew Bain, maybe. Andrew, we'll just see what the interchange is happening here. And Dukowskis has come on, in fact, for the South Gambia Demons, the big ruckman. Not a bad player to have on your interchange bench, Dukowskis, as he comes on. Perhaps a good time, too, Jim, to bring another taller player on, perhaps for the dying stage of the quarter and give Crossbury Porter a bit of a spill. There's no doubt his legs will be needed later on in the game. Certainly, Dukowskis could be a very important player. We've seen Mark... Uh, Mark Jenkinson played that kick behind the game, uh, kick behind the game, and take a number of telling marks in this the first quarter for the Cats, and he wins the hit out this time. Maybe Dukowski can do that in the second quarter. Robbie Elliott, his brother just kicked the goal, hands it off nicely to McGregor. McGregor right foot kicks toward that scoreboard side. Dukowski's first touch for the big fella. Byers is with him, comes off the boots of uh, both players over the line to be a throw in. Scoreboard side here at Vance the Park with the South Gambia Demons six goals two, the Cats from Castor and two goals one. Look very slow at ground level at this stage, Cassidy and Jim, don't they? They don't seem to have that bite around the pack. And I don't wide. think they're going to get any quicker, No, though. I don't think they will either, Jim. They've played three belters to get to the grand final through the final series. Millicent twice, where yes. they just went hammer and tongs. And again, South Gambia, the second semi at Coleraine. And certainly that must take a physical effect. Got to reflect back to that day at Molseed Park and the slush and mud, Jim. I think that hurt them a lot more than what they anticipated. Jason Hand for the Demons, kicking from the scoreboard wing. Big kick to half forward, big leap, Guthrie to ground, O'Donnell, quick hands, Ryan, slow, tidy up by uh, McGinley, short to Allen, Nolte in fact, inboard McGowan, another touch, kick number 10, not quite, taken by Harris, Kevin Harris, the Ox, long, towards full forward, Elliott has to sit, players against him, they rush it towards the boundary line, in fact it hits the behind post, it'll be thrown in forward pocket left for the Demons and we've played just on 25 minutes in the opening quarter advance at a park. The South Gambia Ruckman Mick Ryan off camera there has just copped one on the ribs and be feeling a little bit sore and sorry. The ball's thrown in here. South Gambia through O'Donnell again. Leather skills. The ball smothered by Kelly. South Gambia player Jason Hand gets the ball. Black now. Gets hands. Kelly again. Going in very strong Kelly. Doesn't know anything else but to run hard at the footy and certainly there in those clinches he certainly showed his strength. 25 point margin to the Demons were into time on in the first quarter. Here's the bounce down now by umpire McAllister. Jakowskis and Jenkinson. Jenkinson up high, down to Nolte, and there's the quarter time score here at the uh, 1992 Western Border League Grand Final with South Gambia leading six goals, two, 38 points to Caston and two goals, one, 13 points. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with the second quarter action. The Bellum Hotel, established in 1866 to service weary travellers. Today they still believe in the old-fashioned service that the Bellum was renowned for all those years ago. Perhaps you have a 21st birthday, wedding reception, Christmas party or a social function. Then call the Bellum. A la carte fixed menus or their famous smorgasbord, the choice is yours. If you're planning a function at home, in a hall or in fact anywhere, the Bellum Hotel's outside catering service is available. The Bellum Hotel where we say, we guarantee you won't leave hungry.
Whether you're buying or selling, talk to LJ Hooker. Nobody does it better. LJ Thank you, Mr. Hooker. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Hooker. Thank you, Mr. A TV and a video for under $1,000, no, it can't be done. An Akai 20-inch colour TV with on-screen display, off-timer and large front speaker, hmm. And an Akai VCR with remote control, on-screen multi-function menu, multi-speed, digital tracking and quick start, plus a Criterion stand on casters and a bonus voucher booklet worth over $100, no, it can't be done for under $1,000. Yes, it can. At Radio Electrics, you get all this for $949. Bruin Building Products and Green Triangle Timber. Two locally owned and operated companies committed to providing builders and tradespeople of the southeast and the western district with quality products. Supplying everything for the building industry, including building stone, clay bricks and pavers, roofing tiles and windows. 35 years of growing with the district, Bruin Building Products and Green Triangle Timber are your complete building product service centre and they're gearing up for the future. Look for the Bruin sign on Commercial Street West. And Stephen Phillips about to get us underway in this a very important second quarter advance at a puck. First goal, very important, Jim. Jenkinson and went alone that time. Bad bounce. McGowan out of the centre. Had nine kicks in the first quarter, in fact, Tommy McGowan. Kick by Saunders goes forward. That's his sixth kick. In front is Guthrie, and he marks in defence for the Cats. They're going to the left, and they have the three or four goal breeze. Kicks in short, looking for Carlin that time. Comes off the player that time in McGinley. And over the boundary line, we throw in slightly forward of the centre. South Gambia going into attack. And we'll go down to Andrew Bain. Quarter time, what happened? Thank you, Jim. Yes, I was at the Casterton huddle there. Coach Alan Smith was concerned about the players' work rate from his team. He said they need to pick up their players. He's especially concerned about Harris. And also interesting tonight was we saw Nolte hobbling in that quarter. And he looked concerned about his injury. So he might not, might not be up to his full potential here. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Andrew. As the ball's on the half-forward line now for the Demons, Elliot got an important touch. McGregor before that. And the big names in the Demons side really playing well early. Interesting, David Case. Alan Smith worried about Kevin Harris. Yes, and yet that surprises me. I thought Robbie Elliott and Katanch would have been perhaps uh, his main concern because they had a lot of important touches earlier on. Katanch, in fact, had seven that, kicks and Elliott had five. But obviously it was Harris who was at the bottom of the packs getting the ball out that, Harris, that, uh, that Smitty's seen. And Jim, I just notice here now as the ball goes over the boundary line in front of the grandstand here at Vanceda Park, that maybe the weather's going to turn a little bit sour. And maybe if these wet conditions come in, that four or five goal break will become even greater. Will be vital. There's a huge crowd here at Vanceda Park. I reckon we'll have a record gate today. Saunders off the ground, but the weather's starting to get overcast now. The wind is up off the side of the boot by Philip Saunders, or it stays in play, in fact. That's how strong the wind was. Comes to uh, Byers. Guthrie, great defender. Nolte, injured, looks for West, he's tough, to ground, Elliott, the medalist, Nolte in hard, Guthrie, and finally umpire Craig McAllister calls it a draw, and he'll bounce it, Guthrie goes in over the top of someone, and might freak. have given away a free kick that time, no, Craig McAllister in fact has given a free kick to Guthrie, yes, a little bit of indiscretion by Jason Hamm there, Guthrie kicks long, in front of the grandstand, West went high and took a very telling mark. He kicked a vital goal in the first quarter. And an important touch that time. I think it's Nigel Allen, I think, Jim. Down Man first. in front, Allen. He'll go round him. Too obvious, Katanch. Allen went round him. Left foot to half forward. In front is Glynn. Glynn's caught. Tried to give it to Fear. Turnover. Handed off to Townsend. Goal for the Cats if he kicks accurately. He does yes. on the left foot. Mickey Townsend. Bad mistake by Glynny there, Jim. No one talking to him, so he should have went back and steady. Instead of that, he tried to play off play on off one step and the uh, Castleton players seize the opportunity and very good hands and very good running by Townsend to finish off a fine package of play for the Castleton Very good left club. foot kick and it was a turnover, a mistake by the Demons and that allows the Cats to get the first of the second term and we're underway, we've gone about three minutes and this is the second quarter advance at the park. You're watching on 8 Sport, the Western Border League Grand Final for 1992 as there we get a shot of the clouds that are coming over the back and they're heading our way, folks. It could be a very wet afternoon. Cross reporter goes in. McGowan, Elliott, almost. He's taken down off the play, Elliott, and he'll get a free kick. Robbie Elliott, the medalist for 1992, and had many important touches. To kick forward, had a great battle. Carlin's tagging him. That wet breeze has come up fairly strong now, Jimmy. What's the ball hold up here with Robbie Elliott? Punch from behind, wanted. Saunders, quick legs. Harris is there. 
Ferguson goes back and they see it over the boundary line, the Cats defenders. It looked dangerous for a while as both Saunders and Harris verged on that ball. Conditions turned quite very sour here at the moment. Jim. Tell me about it, David. <laughs> There's a 40 knot wind and rain right <laughs> in the kisser here. Yeah? If they call one. Uh, if they call the Mayor Gambia basketball stadium in the ice house, I don't know what they call Vincent Park. I'll tell you what, it's the Arctic. The or Arctic. Antarctic, I think, today. <laughs> Nevertheless, folks, we're going to keep going because it's big action out there. The Cats trying to bridge the gap. They're down by 19 points in front west. Good fist, Elliot. Having some important touches now, Jim, as Catanz once again, possession number eight for Catanz as he brings the ball wide here and just bounces inside the line. A great kick to touch. And the boundary umpire will bring the ball back in right in front of the stubby shed here at uh, at Vance at Park. The ball will now come back in. Sims and Kelly. Kelly the tough player. Guffrey over the top with a big palm of the ball. Catanz once again for another possession. But unfortunately, he was no, out of bounds first. Out of bounds first. So Luckily for him. Very lucky for him. Boundary umpire again to bring the ball back into play. It's light but, drizzle out there, yes. Dave. It's not teaming, but it's enough to make this the very ball. slippery. Casted in there, must it through uh, Prospery Porter South Game to come away with the ball now. Fine possession up here towards Saunders once again, and it comes over the back. Can't take the marks. Ferguson, Ca yes, Ferguson. Good smother by Harris. Good possession to O'Donnell now. Puts him in the bandwagon here. Can't get Nolte run through. Didn't have the ball, David. No. Stephen Phillips has called a free kick, and O'Donnell will take it. Good umpiring by Steve Phillips. Then good vision. Made sure that he kept his calmness. And uh, Patrick O'Donnell, who already kicked uh, two goals at this stage will now have another shot for goal. Be pretty hard from there, though, with the breeze coming over his right shoulder. Patrick O'Donnell, very clever, elusive, ex Glen co-player from the Mid-SC League. Can he convert again for South Gambia? O'Donnell puts the ball up towards it, hits the front of the pack. Elliott's in there, Kelly's in there. Guthrie comes away with the ball on his left foot. Very dark conditions here at uh, Bansett at Park as Robbie Elliott and Duncan McGregor scream out for the ball. Murphy hasn't been seen much. Elliott, but uh, the ball goes over and beats both players out of bounds. And the boundary umpire again will bring the ball back into play. Certainly you're right. Duncan McGregor has by far the better of that duel with Matthew Murphy. Murphy hasn't, has had a lot of injury all year. Nolte gets the ball from the tap from McGregor. Nice kick by Nolte. Good kick and good vision. And we talk about that man, Murphy. And there's Matty Murphy on the well, far McGregor side. Well, McGregor had to go up for the ruck hit out. Yes. That left Murphy free as he kicks on the right foot around that outer wing. Good defensive stuff by Zobel. And the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. Yes. Throw in front of the scoreboard. It's going to be very interesting now, Jim, to see how much this weather is going to take toll on this game. The boundary umpire throws it in. Jenkinson and Ryan, the two strong men. Kevin Harris. Good hands to McGregor again. McGregor on that favoured left foot goes out wide towards where Nolte and Jason Hand can test the ball. And once again, it's become a bit of a, uh, a negative type game just for the this last and The shot of the umbrellas minutes. that are up around the ground, David, and yes. the Castleton fans taking cover behind their streamers as the wind starts to blow and the rain starts to fall. Nolte in there again, an important touch here for both sides. Elliot in there. Uh, Guthrie, who's had a, uh, many fine possessions at the start of this second quarter. McGowan, Shepherds, but the ball's out of bounds on the full, and a free kick will be taken to South Gambia through Kevin Harris. Nine Kevin kicks Ox in the Harris. first quarter to McGowan, and he started okay in this the second. Elliott's also had plenty of touches. He's been tagged by Carlin, and this man, there's a shot on screen of Peter Sims, and he'd be fairly happy with the Vince at the moment. 6 2 3 1, they double their score, the Demons. Big kick from Harris. In towards full forward. Sims a big leap. Where the running players. Elliot gives it to O'Donnell. He'll kick his third. How important, Jim. I know you keep talking about it, but uh, that one grab first give player is, is certainly a sensational player in, in any standard of football today. And as people can see that Robbie Elliott, there's no wonder this young man was the medalist in the Western Border League in 1992. Well, you've got to look back on this game, and already Patrick O'Donnell's got three, and if he, he's going to kick more for the afternoon away, he's going. But what won't show on the scoreboard is the man who set that up, Robbie Elliott, picked it up, read it beautifully, created the goal, all Patrick had to do, and there he is on screen, the champ. He had to put it on his boot and kick a goal. That's what he did. And there's Robbie Elliott, the medalist, hands on knees, Carlin close against him, gives him a bit of a nudge, but I think Robbie, a little bit of a wry grin. Uh, Jim, it just goes to show that class players, they, uh, they just are very, very good to come and watch play this great game. Well, the thing Elliot can do, he can run all day. And this is the thing, it's very hard to tag a player who can run like Robbie Elliott. Glynn, centre-half forward now. Centre-half back, rather. West goes to Jenkinson, it was. Taken out of it, Fisher. Ball given up by Harris. Out wide, Prosperi Porter. Missed a vital goal in that first turn. Fisher. In fact, it's uh, Murphy. 
inboard. Nolte went high. Tried to get it towards Allen. The Ox again. Kevin Harrison, important touch. Off the ground. Guthrie's got room Guthrie here. He should got be a able few to pick it up. Down on form too. Jim Nigel Allen hasn't done much. Matthew Murphy hasn't done much. McGowan has, and he's got the ball now from the left foot pass of Guthrie. Kick number 12, McGowan. Long. Back towards half forward. They need something to happen for them, Casterton. Down by currently 25 Harris points. Again, Jim. Important touch to Ryan. Ryan kicks in short, and the mark's been taken out there by number 18 is Andrew Zobel. Kick back into play towards an half forward. Big leap from, from behind by Elliott. Jason Hand was there, pushing and shoving. Jenkinson bumps one towards half forward, sitting underneath it is South Gambia, taking the mark. They'll play on towards Glynn. Glynn hands on again. Harris starting to cut them up now, the Demons. Long kick, Harris from behind Sims. Battles hard on the ground. Elliott, Paul Elliott went without it. Chance for McGinley. Saunders comes at him. Quicker legs. Walks around Carlin. Back towards centre half forward from Saunders. Guthrie goes from the front. Score from behind. Players come crashing down. Taken away by Byers and the Cats are out of trouble as they go towards that outer wing. Almost to mark the Fisher. Here's West. Back this way, Fisher. Handball's on. Murphy will lead in the race for the ball. He'll be besieged by Zobel. Good play, Murphy. Good play, Zobel too, Zobel Jim. came at him hard. And they tie it up, in fact. Andrew Zobel, as you called it, David, will get a free kick. Prepared to put his body online, Jim, and uh, a well-deserved free kick by Zobel there. Zobel will now relieve the pressure for South Gambia here across the half-back line. And Ryan, the ruckman, drifts across. Can't take the mark. Slippery football. Ryan's got the ball now. Players battling hard in there. South Gambia in there again. Casterton come out now through Nolte. Nolte on the centre wing now. Kicks into the man of the mark. Nolte again perseveres for the footy. Casterton run free. The ball's loose here at the moment on the half-back line. But Zobel once again crossed to Saunders. Very balanced player. Over the top to Winterfield. Winterfield now turns inside. Brings the ball towards centre half forward. Guthrie in front. Nudge under it by Jason Hand. Ball loose. Cross reporter. Kelly and Sims now. Can Sims outrun Kelly? Katance come across to help out. But Caston relieved the ball here through Nigel Allen out towards the centre wing. Players running up, up and down the one spot nearly here. That's Gary Black and cross reporter. Black wins the ball. Good perseverance. Kelly in there. Robbie Elliott off the ground. McGowan with a chance, but very well done by those group of oh, players on both sides there. Top play by Elliott. That was an <laughs> it was only a kick of five metres, but he stopped the whole run of the Casterton play then by just putting his foot on the ball. Great play, Elliott. Well Great done. hit by West to McGowan. He's had a sensational game, McGowan. Closes on 50, puts it up in front of Williamson. Too far for him. From behind, it will be tidied up by Zobel. Chased by Clark, and we'll go down and see from Andrew Bain. Interchange. Yes, we've just had Sullivan come on. He's replaced Matthew Murphy, who obviously wasn't doing much out there, so they've made the switch there. And Kevin Jakowskis is also back on. Jakowskis back on, and that's a very important play by the Demons. Murphy off and Sullivan on for the Cats. Maybe trying to get a bit more legs out there, Jim, through Sullivan, who's been a good player in the finals. And uh, as we said earlier, Matt Murphy didn't look as though he was uh, playing that well out there and unfortunately had to come and have a spell on the bench. Throw in. Ryan being held back by West. Umpire lets it go. Harris, strength and pace of Harris. Boots it back towards that half-forward line. In front to Kalskis. Closing on him that time was McGinley. Guthrie's there in support. Over the top goes Winterfield and it'll be thrown in. Deep on that left half forward flank and in trouble to Kalskis, I think. Yes, Jimmy went down fairly heavily there and uh, the trainers have come to his assistance. The umpires can't commence the game with him being down there, so they'll have to wait till he gets up. Jim, what do you think of the game at this stage? What, uh, you well, it's, it's very clear the patterns are there. The quicker legs of South Gambia and some very important touches by Elliott and Harris, the big names. The Kalskis is in trouble. I reckon it's an ankle, by the way. He's got that foot off the ground. That's would, a blow. I'd say they're going to take him off on the far side, Jim. I so reckon. he doesn't upset the team balance. So no. Peter Sims are on the bench there, just having a word to the two interchange players. They're going to bring him across this way through the interchange bench, and that'll hold the game up for a while. Knee or ankle, I'd say. Dukelskis went down. Craig Bates, looks like they might be coming that on the player on the screen there. It could be young Craig Bates, I'd say, to get his first run. And with a 25-point lead... The Demons coach is forced to make a move. Jakowskis being carried from the ground. Of That's bad luck for, for uh, Kevin Jakowskis, one of the uh, stalwarts of the West of the South Gambia football club. He's had club. injury problems all yes, year, really, he has hasn't he, too, Jim, Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's bad luck for him because he would have liked to have been a big part of this team for South Gambia. And it doesn't tickle, does it, Kevin? No. Play gets underway again. 
from the back line, Munro, McGowan, another touch. Goes long, Saunders the tidy up for the Demons, quick legs, Philip Saunders this way, that away. Smothered, gets it back, Harris, he won't muck it up. Gets through that pack, long to half forward, Guthrie sitting underneath it will Played march. very well, Jim. Probably their best, Guthrie, with McGowan to date. Yes. Kick in short. Well read, maybe Carlin out there, this way, that away, Byers. Right foot kick, out of wing. Glynn behind, punched forward by Sullivan. Townsend, kicked a vital goal early. And Sullivan earns a free kick. Jim, just one thing that's very evident too is that how South are holding their feet a lot better than what Casterton are. Casterton approaching the ball and then slipping over. Playing but closer to the ground. The yes. Demons. Townsend to half forward, over half forward. Williamson went high without it. Glynn tidies up. Big fella working hard. Want a goal here, Casterton. Williamson's had few touches. In goes Carlin. He's tagging Elliott. There's his opponent, Elliot Redder, beautifully will go to the defensive boundary line. Robbie Elliott, educated kick. And with the scoreline showing 7 2 44 to 3 1 19, couldn't be in a better spot, really. No, it could not be. Boundary line throw in now. Right around here on the left hand side of screen, as the players go for it again, it's West and, uh, and Mick Ryan. Ryan done very well. McGowan, top, the tough Tommy McGowan. Nice touch, touch on by Robbie Elliott. Cross to Catant. Patrick O'Donnell, the main goal scorer for South Denver, takes the ball over the line and the ball will be thrown in right in front of the uh, Channel 8 commentary position here as once again the Ruckman, Ryan from South Gambia and Guthrie from Caston and will go for it here in front of us. Guthrie over the top, gets his hands on the ball. Nice work, Carlin. McGowan again, gets the ball out. Nice tackle, Elliot. Caston will bring the ball back here through Townsend. Players running hard at the ball. Well done by Argent. Put his body over the ball. Nolte, Argent position. Hurts. Nolte now around the boundary line, but unfortunately, he's run over the boundary line and the ball will be thrown in ins inside the, the uh, South Gambia. Argent is hurt, and there's a shot of the young man who really caught one very high. It was legitimate. Going hard at the football, both players, but that uh, shook eyes him up a little bit. only, Jim, wasn't it? Both and I think he would be footy. seeing stars at the minute. The Kalskis already off. Maybe injuries will play a part in deciding this game, but the Demons currently lead by 25. Kick by Munro is sensational. Very good. Justin Munro kicks a big one over the shoulder. That's his first for the afternoon. And the Cats get their fourth. David, tell me about it. Well, Jim, I like the problem there was with the fact that it's on behind play. And it's play. on behind play here. Couple going down. Elliot and Nigel Allen coming from behind was maybe Nolly that time. Bit of an ugly scene here, Jim. Not necessary. Players not, not necessary at all there. Players coming from everywhere. Not a lot in it. A lot of and of course with the send-off real David, they must be very careful. Philip Saunders and Nolte. Nolte got involved for some reason. And I Play see. goes on. They've bounced the ball in the centre. That's the main thing. Umpire, the on the centre wing now. Emergency umpire was out too. Steve Prime was out with his book too, Jim. So we'll West to gets the ball. No, in fact, it's Craig Kelly. The Cats come forward. This is an important passage. Big leap from behind. Might have been fear to the ground. This is him. Hand pass, Katanch. They run it out, South Gambia. Looking for O'Donnell and Patrick. Centimetre perfect was the pass from Katanj. A late tackle too, Jim. And Byers made O'Donnell earn it. But Patrick gets up limping as well. He's also had a knee injury. He has a severe one at the start of the year too, Jim. And looks to be just hobbling a little. The kick's not good from O'Donnell. Munro, who kicked a sensational goal just before. Kick off the ground by Byers. Harris. O'Donnell. Harris the shepherd. O'Donnell goes for the handball. Who to? No one. Elliot wasn't running. Allen chipped in. Argent goes against him. Elliot behind play. It's on again on the foreground. It will stay on the action. Back. Long kick. Jenkinson has Elliot in a headlock and lets him go. Good stuff, Mark Jenkinson. He could I'd have done say too that there. Neil Guthrie was reported. Sullivan's kicked the goal over his shoulder. The Cats are back in the game. I tell you what, Jim. This little bit of a... a uh, a little bit of controversy behind the game here. Catherine just sort of had to show their strength a little bit and maybe it's just unbalanced South Gambia, just that little fraction. And I would say that Guthrie's been reported for he striking Mick Ryan. And also an interesting incident. Mick Ryan, the South, South Gambia ruckman, was trying to assert some authority. He copped a couple of beauties and Ryan is in big trouble. They're examining him, the trainers. He really took on something he couldn't uh, counter that time. A very Mick Ryan. important centre bounce here now, Jim. 
He really copped one. He started it. He did his little bit of the action, and then they didn't, didn't want to go on with Umpires it. Umpires will need to take the ground. Up. And it's downfield. Free kick will go. Indiscretion by Phil Saunders there, Jim. And, and a shot for goal for Dale Sullivan. It's just what South Gambia didn't need. They need to get some, get some, some composure out there. This is where Robbie Elliott and Kevin Harris now need to show the their experience. Cut the 13 points. Dale Sullivan, David, could make it seven. And exactly what the Demons didn't want to happen has happened. Peter Sims would be very disappointed with the discipline. The kick from Sullivan is going to fade right. Just offline. He got the distance, no problem. One behind only. It'd be a very interesting five or six minutes of football now, Jim, that South need to gain some composure now and stick to their game plan, which has got them there all year, just by playing in front, playing the footy and taking the free kick. Okay, Andrew Bain on the boundary line. The rain and the wind. How has it affected the ground? No, the ground's still holding up very well, Jim. It's the South Runners are still running very well across the top of it. A report on Kevin Jakowskis. It was actually his knee. He um, in the change room at the moment with the trainers, and he says he felt something snap. So it could be a very short grand final for Kevin Jakowskis. Tragedy. Thank you, Andrew Bain. As it's kicked in that time by Mark West. Great defensive mark by Capewell. A very good player, this young man. And yeah. he'll boot the Stevens out of trouble. He'll go wide to this grandstand side. He's taken the risk. Look out. Nigel Allen comes at Katanch. Gets the loose ball. Too far for Nolte, otherwise you're in trouble, Demons. And to the ground, Zobel will go, but it's going to be thrown in. In fact, push in the back, says Stephen Phillips. Andrew Zobel will take a free kick. Put his body on line again, Jim. You could see that asphalt coming up, but he didn't have eyes for the ball only. And certainly well done by Andrew Zobel. At the 20-minute mark of the second term, Western Border League Grand Final on 8 Sport. The Cats have cut the margin to two goals. The Cats have the breeze. Good mark, Byers. Saunders went at him. Byers says, Philip. That's what I think of that. Need a lift from Timmy Williamson here, Jim, somewhere. Williamson on the lead, and you called it, David. Big grab, Timmy Williamson. Don't you love it when it happens for you like that, Jim? Well, nominated well. <laughs> the kick was perfect, and Williamson the lead. Now, Timmy's a beautiful kick. The left knee very heavily strapped. When he's fit, this man is the Rolls Royce of Western Border League footy. Beautiful off the boot. Put down the glasses, umpire. A big kick from Williamson. The margin is six points. And Jim, have the I just uh, the the wind sock here at Vance the Park is hanging very limp at the moment. I think that uh, the uh, the rain cloud that went across uh, has certainly dropped the wind velocity down. Andrew Bain, are we right? Has that wind dropped away? Yeah, the wind isn't much of a factor at the moment. South Gambia have just pulled another change. David Arjun is off, and Mark Winterfield's back on for another run. Andrew Bain keeping a close eye of what the coaches are doing, and we're back in the action. We've gone over 20 minutes in the second, and the Cats trail by six points. Munro from the hit out from Jenkinson has had a terrific game. Allen has lifted. David Case said he needed to, and he has. Robbie Elliott, another touch. Comes loose. McGowan been a little quieter this quarter. McGregor goes hard against him. Tidied up, it was Black. Carlin, hand pass to Guthrie. What number of kicks from Guthrie? Well over 10. Up they went. Fear. He's tackled from behind. McAllister lets it play on. Fear goes back in. West uh, Townsend over the top of him and McAllister calls a draw. It's hectic out there now, David. Alan Smith asked, asked for a lift at quarter time, Jim, and by gee, the intens intensity of the cast and Cats has certainly lifted now. McAllister to put the ball down. We've got a ball game here advancing the park now. As up goes Jenkinson. The ball runs loose here towards Cat Williamson again in front of Kate Wall and led him to the ball. And Timmy Williamson's experience and his strength was a very, very evident there. And Jenkinson's palm down to Justin Munro was something you would just come a long way to see. It was a beautiful palm, lovely kick by Munro, and a beautiful lead by Williamson. Can he kick his second in a matter of minutes? No, I he's think he's left, missed I that think. one, Jim. Offline, Timmy and, Williamson, hang your the, head. They wanted that one. The margin is five points. Would have leveled the scores, and with that very heavily left bandage, left knee, very heavily strapped, and he's very lucky to make the grand final. With and the scoreboard the now one. reading here at Vance the Park, South Gambia seven goals, two, leading Casterton six goals, three. Jenkinson has almost turned this game by himself, David, the big ruckman for the Cats. He's giving them first use of the ball as McGowan went high. Fear is caught, tried to do too much. Tap on, and chance to get for away with that, Jim. Running player, Prosper Porter. Left foot kick wobbles to half forward. Casterton have got defenders here. Running out Ferguson to ground. Tap on, Harris. Bit too far for him, but he'll come back on it. Free kick, kick will go to Robbie Elliott off the action and against Mark West, against uh, Craig Kelly, in fact. Chance for Robbie uh, Elliott to settle them down. By gee, uh, Jim Guthrie stamped his mark on this game with his strength and with his running out of that back. He reads it so well, David. Yes. He just reads the game so well. 
Elliot to pull forward. Paul Elliott went high, his brother. Who's that man, David? Tell me about yeah, him, Guthrie number 31, again. Guffrey. Been very impressed with his game. Townsend this uh, way, that away. Back towards this grandstand, centre wing. On his own, that time was Nolte. Numbers will win out. Bates, Katanch, good teamwork, Demons. Chip away, looking for Prospery Porter. Quick legs wanted, McGowan. Perhaps that was not the better option by Katanch. Casterton, Glynn almost. Williamson went without it. Can't twist and turn, Timmy. Kate will tidies up. Grandstand wing. Allen will have to go hard. Rather, it's Nolte. Good contest by Nolte then, Jim. One on four. Fia. Very well done by David Nolte. Jim stood his ground. Had three South Gambia players running at him. But was prepared to put his body in front. And there we have a negative situation right here in front of the grandstand of Vansett Park. Phillips. Stephen. Deputy principal at Mount Gambia High School. Gets us underway. We're closing in on time on in this the second quarter. The Demons leading by five points at one stage. They had the lead out to 25. It looked good. And the Cats have been able to whittle it away. The rough stuff has started. The Demons dropped out of the game. They need to play footy. Guthrie, significant punch over the boundary line and out of bounds. Mick Ryan there, Jim. I, I, think, I noticed a fair bit of blood coming away from his nose. I well, think Mick caught the beauty off the boy. play. But unfortunately, Mick, you did start it. <laughs> and the Casterton boys didn't back away. We don't like to see that in footy. West took it out. McGowan, another kick. Big bomb towards full forward. Lee Capel's in front of Williamson. Williamson got the spoil. Sullivan comes back inside. Loose player out. Here's Fisher. The hand pass doesn't quite carry. McGregor got back. They tied up the south defence. Good stuff, Demons. And Good inside the 50, there. we'll have another bounce. Five points to margin. We're time a minute or two period, into Jim. time on, David. You've called it. McAllister now with the ball to put it down right in the attacking half of Casson and Weston Ryan. The ball runs loose to Sullivan, who since he's come on, Jim, has had many important touches and had a bit of a bite to the Casson inside. Umpire Craig McAllister again. Jimmy West and Mick Ryan, the two ruckmen from Casson and South, will go at it again right here inside the 50-metre mark for Casson. The ball's hit over the top. Comes out here to Munro again. Duncan McGregor on that favourite left foot. Gives a chance for uh, Katanch here. If Katanch picks this ball up, well done by Byers from, uh, from Kasson. But O'Donnell read the ball better, and he brings the ball inside now. Kasson and have numbers. Jenkinson over the back, Elliot. Out comes Nolte. Gets across to Jenkinson, the big man. Across to Guthrie, who's as cool as you like on the left foot. Kicks the ball down here, looking for touch. And a very good and experienced kick by Neil Guthrie, uh, which comes to be thrown in. Just inside Cass Casson's attacking zone. 15 kicks to Guthrie so far, David. Magnificent effort for the centre half back. Jimmy's done a very good job for Casson. West and Ryan, the struggle. Lock arms, Ryan. Nigel Allen, Allen. Works his way, no, he doesn't. Good tackle, Katanch on him. Danny Clark, kick short. McGregor will tidy up. Good mark, McGregor. Dropping back, cross that half back line there, Jim. We're giving him a loose man there. Oh, the kick's not good, unfortunately, for him, but it's going to be tidied up. They'll take it away that time, David Chart taken after he kicked the chart and the free kick will go downfield and Robbie Elliott for the Demons will take it on this grandstand centre wing in towards the centre chips away and finds a running player in hand loose player Glynn he might ignore him as McGowan picks him up chips away and player coming off for South Gambia as the mark has been taken by Mark West Andrew Bain tell us about it Yes, Terry Catanz took a very hard knock there. He's been brought straight off, and David Argent's back on the field. What's it, a shoulder, Andrew? It's shoulder or rib, somewhere around that area. Okay, thank you, Andrew Bain. Down on the boundary, hit back, chance for Bates. Townsend, Allen, loose ball, closes in, kick's not good. Just slippery enough, he couldn't get on the left foot. Handball out, Bates to tidy up. Good defence to Demons again. Running player, Argent. Argent, number 19, David Argent, caught one in the head earlier. Good mark in front, taken by Fisher. Nolte, Argent went hard at him, but only half-heartedly in the yeah. end. Yes, downfield, Jim. The free kick off. Bit of indiscretion by Prospery Porter. Bit of frustration by the young man. Bit of inexperience. Enough, Argent and Prospery Porter both went. I don't think they went hard enough. No, Jim, you might have been correct there too. Nolte, right bandage on the ankle. Beautiful kick. Allen, catch looking okay as we approach half time. Sullivan from behind, loose ball west if you can get clear. Kelly, the halfback flank has kicked the goal. No, he hasn't, he's missed left. The margin is four points. Oh, gee, Jim, doesn't Craig Kelly cover some ground? He's up the back line one minute, he's down the forward line. 
I would say that Grumpy Smith most probably gives him a roving commission and uh, he just seems to go where he wants to go. Interestingly, David, the Caston and Cats are matching now the run of the Demons. Yes, they are too, Jim. I think that bit of strength and that little bit of... Uh, they showed that uh, strength early in the start of this quarter and it uh, might have unset South Gambia just that fraction. The margin, David, case is four points. We have got a ball game on our hands. Many people thought a quarter time the game was over. Not the Cats. They're back in town. Kelly went high, maybe on the ball now. Hand pass, slippery conditions. Port the touch can't here, quite Jim. Get it clear. This is an important play, David Case. Glenn, Zobel, the big names want to lift now. Handball out, Jenkinson, loose man, Townsend, chips away. Sullivan, it'll be too far for him. It'll carry Just that little bit too far, Jim. Maybe the hand pass would have been better, but I've called it. The ball is still a little slippery, and the Demons are under pressure. The Cats with the breeze. They got down to a pressure situation now as the ball's thrown in inside of Caston's attacking zone. Timmy Williamson runs over top of the ball. Munro, Saunders back there for South Gambia. Runs the ball out through the through the back line here now. How far can he run? He's run too and he's far. run too far. And by Craig McAllister has deemed that uh, Bill Saunders has run too far. And uh, young Clark, the young youngster from Caston. Danny Clark. Danny Clark now inside of 50 metres, but uh, on a very difficult angle here with Nolte giving him some advice of where to kick the ball. Danny Clark comes in. No. No, Jim, a very poor kick by Clark. The drizzle enough. It's starting to drizzle again, David. The ball just a little bit heavy now. Didn't a little do bit enough damp. with it, Jim. Just didn't do enough with it. Should have started it uh, further right. Lee Capel to bring us back in. We're just on full time in the second quarter. The first half about to end. A shot of the Casterton fans behind Capel. High ball Capel. The siren about to go. Jenkinson to ground. They'll tidy up South Saunders. Better kick this time? No, out on the full. And the siren goes. The Demons by four points at half time. South Gambia 7-2-44. Casted in a 6-4-40. Western Border League Grand Final on 8 Sport. We'll take a break. We'll be back with all the action in the second half. Well, summer's nearly upon us, so it's time to start thinking about the old body. We've got a full range of weights to choose from. Weight benches. We've got three exercise bikes to choose from. The step-up machine. These are great. And down here, we've got a rowing machine. This is a beautiful rowing machine. Over here, we've got the Pro Gym 500. And on special at only $85. So come into Arena, otherwise you'll end up looking like that. Radio Electric slash prices. Yes, it's guaranteed city prices on top brand name vacuum cleaners. Priced from only $99, you'll get slash prices on Sanyo, Hoover, Volta and Vax. Yes, it's cash time at Radio Electrics, and if you need a vacuum cleaner, now's the time to get unbelievable brand names at the prices you need. Radio Electrics are prices. In Mount Gambier and Millicent, you'd better hurry. Crunchy nut cornflakes. Uh. Delicious golden flakes of corn coated with honey and encrusted with nuts, which makes them a crunchy, irresistible combination. Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Cornflakes. The trouble is, they taste too good. And we're underway, second half of football. Vance at a park. Breeze going to the left of screen. The Demons have it for the last time. They lead by four points at half time. And it's McGowan who sends the Cats forward out of the centre bounce. 15 possessions in the first quarter. 15 uh, kicks on me, McGowan, Jim. 15 kicks, five marks, five handballs. Not a bad half a game of footy for anyone like that, is it? Tremendous. And the young man who went off for the Demons, Terry Katanch, had 10 kicks up to half time as well. Robbie Elliott had 11. Duncan McGregor, 9. And Patrick O'Donnell had 8 as well as 3 goals. 
Harris is taken high. Kevin Harris about to have kick number nine for the afternoon. And as you're sitting back and watching this replay, believe me, I hope you're warmer than we are. Guthrie from behind also had uh, many kicks in that first half. Nolte from the hand pass of Jenkinson. I'd nearly say Jenkinson best on ground in some ways. Philip Saunders. The Demons go forward. Opening moments of the second half of the 92 grand final in the Western Border League. Vance at the park in Mount Gambia. And you're watching the action on Channel 8 Sport. Robbie Elliott, the medalist, could bring up the first score. Low and long. It'll count. It's a goal to Elliott. Robbie Elliott has kicked the goal. It was going to be after disposal anyway. Stephen Phillips called it. Then he said, OK, all clear. And the first goal of the, the second half goes to the Demons. How important was the first touch to Kevin Harris there, Jim, here in front of us? Put his body in over the ball, got the free kick and got the ball moving on. And uh, that's just what South Gambia needs. And, and Robbie Elliott with his 12th kick, David, brings up his first and goal. Down in front of us here, Jim, just a bit of a sad, now for, sad night for Kevin Jukowski. He's been placed in the ambulance and... Uh, Kevin, on behalf of everyone up here at Channel 8, we wish you all the very best and a speedy recovery. Well, back in the centre, umpire Craig McAllister bounces the ball and Mark Jenkinson goes again. He's had a tremendous game, Jenkinson. He has won the ruck without a doubt. To ground. Allen needs to lift a little. Murphy's Murphy had a too. very bad first half and was off the ground. Kick forward, Townsend against him was Argent. Good play by the youngster. Goes to the boundary line. And very experienced play by the youngster. He didn't panic, and we'll go down to our man on the boundary line for his half-time report, Andrew Bain. Thank you, Jim. Well, I can tell you, even though the rain stopped, it's still freezing cold down here. Tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, both coaches were pretty pleased with their efforts in the first half. Peter Sims reminded his team that they were still ahead and they needed to rebuild from here and told them not to get sucked in anymore to any of the rough stuff. Alan Smith was very pleased with the way his centre players got back into the game told him to keep the forward line open and look especially for Craig Byers. And he also told him that the Biffo might have worked, but they were lucky to have 18 players there at half-time. Now, just quickly, Neil Guthrie's been reported for striking McRyan in that rough second quarter, and Kevin Jakowskis has a ruptured cruciate ligament, so Very he'll spend bad. the rest of the day in hospital. And unfortunately, and thank you through the chattering teeth, our man on the frozen boundary line, Andrew McBain, as Fisher's court should have been holding it, in fact, is. Good tackle there. Jim, very good tackle there by Mark Winterfield. Big kick, Winterfield over half forward. The next goal, crucial for the Demons. Opening moments of the second half. They've got the first. Saunders goes over the top looking for Prospery Porter. Black got back there. O'Donnell ran out of space. And the ball off his boot on the full. And the kick in will take place. Cast it and to drive it back. A shot of Patrick O'Donnell. He has three goals. Out of bounds on the full there, Jim, unfortunately. Slipped off his boot and went over the side of the boundary line. McGinley from the back pocket right for the cast it inside. Drives it long. And the mark from behind to McGowan. Stats in the first half on McGowan, David. 14 kicks, 5 marks, 5 handballs. Had two possessions early in this quarter already, Jim. So it's a, a very interesting possession winner is McGowan, the ex of A player for Casterton. Boundary line throw in. Early in the third quarter here in the grand final at Vance at the Park. Ryan and Jenkinson at it. Jenkinson's big hand up over the back. Comes out to Guthrie. Pats one of the best men on the ground. The ball's at loose there when McGowan throwing his body in. Harris is in there fighting hard for the ball. And the, and the umpire will step in and bounce the ball right on the 50-metre line here in South Gambia's attacking zone. And Kevin Harris has come out full of strength and running in this early part of this quarter. Umpire McAllister to put the ball down again. Jenkinson and Ryan will go at it again as they have done most of the day. Ryan gets his hand on the ball. Catance across to Saunders. Pace by Saunders. Deep in the forward pocket. Props up to the goal face. And a good attempt by Winterfield. But unfortunately, his outstretched hands just couldn't, couldn't quite take the ball. And Jim, the crowd that surrounds the ground here at Vance the Park and the North Gambia catering, absolutely magnificent. They've done it well. They've prepared the ground superbly. Bit of help from the council, of course. And they're catering as always. This is the place, if not Blue Lake Sports Park, for grand finals in the southeast for sure. Kick by McGregor, right footer. Saunders went too early, and the free kick will be to Caston and Tommy McGowan in for another possession. Must be at least 17 or 18 kicks now. Jim McGowan deep in the back pocket, drives the ball out towards the grandstand side. Elliot up high over the top, about third hands. St remains on the ground, spins out under his right hand. Harris, this will be a goal. Kevin Harris. A long shot on goal, and I would say that he's put it through. Kevin Harris, 
Big kick from Harris. Western Border League followers will have seen Kevin Harris do that on many and many occasions. And who had the football? That man Elliott again with beautiful hands to, uh, to Harris. Sheer strength run through the line and kicked a beautiful goal, a match-winning a match -winning goal by Harris because it will no doubt lift this young South Gambia team. And all youngsters watching that particular piece of play as there we get a shot of the great man himself, Kevin Harris. What a stalwart he's been in Western Border League footy. Premierships with East Gambia. There's another champion, Robbie Elliott. But Harris, when he went for goal, kicked the ball high. That gives you direction and power. Note that, please, youngsters. Ball goes out to Fisher. Been a good player too, Jim. Too wide this time. And out of bounds on the full. And Byers had many metres on Glynn. That was a very poor effort from Fisher. He's had a fair game, but they could have made more of that, the Cats, and they currently trail by 14 points. In fact, make that 16. Kick by Glynn. Fisher, McGregor. McGregor got hands, couldn't take it. Ferguson. Went on Elliott. Loose man is Prosperi Porter. Left foot kick is good. Jason Hand should have done more with that. Guthrie will get back. Robbie Elliott will run onto this. On the 50 metre line. Gets around beautifully. Black. Steady. Shoots for goal. Sims has the sit. Good play. Saunders open goal. Once again, Jim. Who was at the fore of the play there? Ryan here in front of the crowd. Got his hand to the ball. Beautifully done. And that man, Robbie Elliott, his fitness is absolutely superb and a fine athlete and topped it off by getting the ball to the goal square and in the, as a perfect rover should always be, Saunders at the front of the pack, run onto the footy and kicked a very, well, very important Elliot goal. Elliot got the important touch to Kevin Harris and that time Robbie Elliott again getting the important touch on the half forward line. What a sensational game number two on screen has had today. He's the medalist for 1992. There's a shot of Philip Saunders, kicked the last one, good rover's goal. And the Cats now have got some work to do. 10-3-63, 6 5, 41, 22 points the margin. And we're playing for seven minutes in this, the third term. Western Border League Grand Final on eight sport. And a centre square infringement. It will go Casterman's way. Just to start, South wanted Jim, wasn't it, this early part of this quarter? Brilliant. And the breeze seems to be coming up. Good we lead by Williamson. And for a bit of a comment on the breeze we'll go down to our man on the boundary Andrew Bain Andrew how significant the breeze in the third turn well the wind socks pretty well straight pointing at the ground which suggests there's not much wind but it actually feels like there is still swirling around still going to left of screen I'd say probably only one or two goals worth at this stage though and Timmy Williamson on the left foot big kick from inside 50 against what we think is the breeze brings up a vital goal for the cats they needed that one david timmy williamson jim uh, you said earlier on about this player how uh, well balanced he is and what a beautiful kick he is he won't need many opportunities down there and he's kicked two goals now and two very important goals for cassidy important turnover in the center from a center square infringement that time south gambia and peter sims the coach would not be happy with that 63 to 47. 20, rather 16 points now the margin. Ryan against Jenkinson. Chance for Fisher. Went without it. Elliott went down as well. Just lost their footing. Go in hard. McGregor, important kick. There's a fist in that pack. Guthrie, there was a fist there too. Umpire lets it go. He was lucky, Neil Guthrie. All but ready being reported. Saunders went hard. He's going to be pulled up. And Darren Carlin will take the free kick for the Cats. They move it forward. McGowan, prolific kick winner. Chips away towards half forward. Sullivan will need to go hard. Glynn was too tall. Matthew Murphy's had a day he would rather forget. And they tie it up on the 50 metre line for the Cats. Murphy looks as though he's only half fit, Jim, doesn't he? He looks as though he yes, has he's lost not... that toe that he had last year. He's, didn't got he? his, uh, he's got his left knee bandaged as well. There's a number of walking wounded out there. Remembering South Gambia do not have any interchange players of note. Kalskis has gone to hospital. He's off the ground. And Katanch very badly injured to the shoulder. Harris goes hard. West went to, rather, Kelly went as hard. Kick out of the pack. Sitting in the, in the middle is uh, Prospery Porter. And he'll settle things down for the Demons. South have runners out wide now with Prospery Porter with the ball in the middle of the ground. Noldy stands the mark. Prospery Porter goes straight down looking for Saunders. That's a nice, uh, here's Robbie Elliott again, that man in the centre. Paul Elliott not, not running off wide. Jason Hand, the centre half forward for South Gambia. But very well done by uh, by Casterton there through the agency of uh, Nigel Allen, who run the ball over over the boundary line. Andrew Bain, did you catch anything on Mick Townsend, who's left the ground for the Cats? No, I just noticed him hobbling along the sideline there. I don't think he's come back on, actually, from half-time break. So, obviously, some danger there for okay, Mick. Okay, so Townsend not back on the ground after half-time. Tommy McGowan there on the screen. And that's a blow to the Casterton Cats. A walking wounded of both teams. 
a war of attrition out there in the Western Border League Grand Final for 92. You're watching on 8 Sport. Great hit by Kelly to Nigel Allen. Oh, gee, he's played a good game, Kelly, Jim, hasn't he? Ryan sits under it, and Mick Ryan takes a mark. Needs to lift a little bit, Ryan. That's a good done. job uh, in the ruck work, Jim. It hasn't done much around the ground, has he, really? Kick by Ryan towards half forward. Hand on the run. Too many legs for Jenkinson, who's battled very hard, the big fella. Yes, most definitely. And Jason Hand from the 50 metre line, just outside that, drives long to the square. Guthrie sitting under it. Good hands, Neil Guthrie. Gee, he's got poise. Yes, and it would be perhaps, I would go as far as to say, Jim would be perhaps one of the most improved players in the Western Border League, Neil Guthrie, because here two years ago, he was playing uh, reserves football for Castleman, so it's a pretty good effort. Sherman allows the ball to go out, to, out of bounds. The kick from Guthrie wasn't that good that time. He goes up to make amends with the hit out, working his way through the pack that time was Black to West, rather to Kelly, to McGowan, towards Allen. Allen with the socks down, significant, so is McGowan. Tired legs, maybe. Glynn over the top, interferes that time, and the free kick will go to the Cats. True Unfortunately, bias. they're breaking down, crossed half forward a little bit, Casted and Jim, aren't they? They're not... Uh, Craig Byers shoots it wide, looking for McGowan. Too wide for him. A couple of bad skill errors from Casted and Jim in the last two or three Tied minutes. Tiredness, do you think, Absolutely. maybe? Yes. Important factor. I'm sure Peter Sims would not have missed that. We've gone over ten minutes in the third. McGregor, Katanch is back on, knock, Harris, Harris strength, Jim, once oh, again. Great turn, Elliott on his own, interesting, free kick after the handball, and Robbie Elliott will take it. Plays on, boots long and high, covers over 50, Sims the big man from behind, Jenkinson poised in front, behind, Black, Guthrie missed it. Player loose behind O'Donnell, but Carlin, they get it out the front, the Cats, chips away nicely, and the mark taken by Allen. Nigel Allen running hard. Nolte on the wing unattended. Great pass. Centimetre perfect from uh, Nigel Allen to David Nolte. Chips away. Byers and Glynn. Centre half forward Byers. Goes hard. Comes back. Carlin. Quick kick. Wobbles one over half forward. Zogel's back there for the Demons. He'll take it to the safety of the boundary line in front of the huge crowd at Vance the Park. And the throw in will take place. The Demons and the Cats go head-to-head. -head. Hit by Byers, taken by Fear. Glynn tries to break through. Chance for the Cats this time. To the boundary line again. And over it goes for throw in. David very Sharp good, doesn't want to bring Very it good contest now, Jim. Pl both players from both sides now are really finding it tough out there. This is going to be a very, very good last half of football. Gee, Castleman want the next goal. They're 16 points down to be handy. David Nolte hooks one back on goal. Williamson, Munro went high. Couldn't take the mark. Good chasing Sullivan, but Cape will tidies up. Good defence by the Ds. Cape will can go for a run here. It was Arjun who got him the ball. 30, 40 yards. Cape will through the centre. Big play coming up for the Demons. O'Donnell, he's got quick legs. Turns inside Guthrie. He's caught. Oh, great great tackle. tackle. You said it, David. Fantastic. What a magnificent bit of play by Guthrie. To the boundary. Townsend outbodies his opponent. Left foot kick. Inboard by Murphy over the top of uh, Williamson Allen running onto the ball great run Allen hand pass Murphy too high free kick Matthew very very good contest here now Jim good, good, very good game of footy now as uh, as, as Cassidy and drive the ball in through half forward Kelly's in the box seat good mark Kelly he gave a little nudge yes. the young five's out of position experience, very experience. Jim very he experience it, and a vital kick well I said if they could get the next one Cassidy they're right in the game. As Craig Kelly lines up, Andrew Bain, give us the information on Mick Townsend. Well, the official word from the Caston camp is that he's just having a breather. But you wonder about that with the player of Townsend's capabilities. South were really worried about him before this game. So I don't know what's wrong with him. They've, they've said he's having a breather, but you just don't know. Thank you, Andrew. The kick from Kelly into the breeze is not a good one. Doesn't carry quite as far as he wanted it to. And through for one point, it was going left anyway. 63-48, the margin's 15 points. It's, six, it's rather 10-3 to Demons, 7-6 the Cats. Carlin, long ball. Sullivan. Nigel Allen's hurt too, Jim, behind play, which is a pretty important play. A player. big blow for the Cats. He's holding an ankle to ground fear. Kelly, important play again. Fisher went without it. The Demons are out of trouble. McGregor to Argent. The bounce doesn't come back to him. Good bump off the ball that time by fear maybe. Kick Argent. Jenkinson. 
This way, that away, the big fella's caught, but gets the ball away. Carlin in short, Jimmy Williamson. Playing up the ground now, Jim. I reckon he's been moved to centre-half forward, I would say. Big left foot kick, Williamson. Murphy's down there. Cape will tidies up nicely, goes for the safety of the boundary line. The running legs of South Gambia may get there first, though the ball beats them over the line. Nigel Allen went down. Interchange being made. Bates for O'Donnell, is that right, Andrew? Yes, Craig Bates coming on for Patrick O'Donnell. And we'll try and pick up Nigel Allen, who's up off the ground. Pulled high, Zobel, he'll take a free kick. Played a good game, Zobel, too, Jim. He's been in there when South need important touches. Zobel now will relieve the pressure for the South Gambia club. Comes into the middle of the ground here, looking and finding Argent on the half-back line. Run off. Glenn runs over the line now. Brings it wide. Bates, the fresh player on. Snuck on the cast inside. Didn't pick him up. Kelly now. Chases Bates. Saunders. Casted him now. Comes out. Lovely handball by Jason Hand. Saunders. Can he kick him a regular goal? Fantastic goal, Phil Saunders. Magnificent. They're the sort of goals that you need to win grand finals with. And Philip Saunders... A great inspiration there, but Jim, back on the ball before that. What wonderful hands by Jason Hand. Brilliant play, and I've got to take credit for that goal. You want to know how I've got to take credit? How boy, am I on a bandwagon. There was a little boy when he was at school. We used to get out of McDonald Park Oval, the teacher and I, and we used to make him kick on his left foot, kicking high, running towards goal. It's in a grand final. It's in A grade, and there is almost a tear in my eye as Philip Saunders puts one through on the left foot. Comment on that, David Case. That's the only play you've ever taught anything. Here's the bounce down. McAllister in the centre of the ground. Ryan and Jenkinson at it again. Jenkinson's done a great job. Nolte off the ground. Sullivan in there. Nigel Allen in there. Williamson in there. Sullivan back in again. Players going in, throwing their bodies in recklessly. Jenkinson. Nice hands to Guthrie outside the pack now. Guthrie on his left foot. Turns into centre half forward. Murphy in front and takes a wonderful mark, Matty Murphy. Well, he's starting to play well now, Murphy, <laughs> Jenkinson, and again, Guthrie, David. Uh, Murphy, bad play, kicked it into the man of the mark, unforgivable. They might get out of it, the catch, Williamson needs to get the ball off, he's a bit slow, call for throwing ball. it, and the free kick will go to Terry Catanch, who is back on the ground. Looked as if he mightn't take much uh, part in the final after going off with what looked like ribs or a shoulder, but he is back, that's good news. Loose ball, Robbie Elliott now, Robbie Elliott screams down through half forward. Open goal in towards Saunders. Downfield. Very, very, very indiscretion there by Gary. Doesn't Clark. matter. It's a goal. Great play, Robbie Elliott. And Jim, it just makes you wonder. It really does make you wonder how far the discipline plays in this game. And if this goes to show now that Castor and maybe tired legs, bit of frustration, a couple of little indiscretions now. And uh, this has certainly put Castleton back in front now. 12-3, I mean, South Gambia 12-3, leading Castleton 7-6, and that's a pretty good lead, that's, Jim. That lead is good enough. If they can go to three-quarter time with that lead, excuse me, David, with that lead, then the Demons are home. 12-3 to 7-6. Vital moments for the Cats. They need at least one, maybe two. Saunders, he's fired up after that brilliant left-foot goal. And finally, Stephen Phillips. Phillips Saunders getting a bit fiery as he goes over Dale Sullivan. And the ball will be bounced by Stephen Phillips. 12-3 to 7-6. The Demons lead at the 20-minute mark of the third term. Robbie Elliott. What wonderful hands, Jim. What I've been saying it all day. Sit back and admire this kid. Jenkinson's had a wonderful game. He's battled very hard. Munro's tried. This man, Harris, has been superb. And he just does the hard things, David. Bottle yes. that ball up. Throw in. Kevin Harris is to South Gambia what Craig Kelly is to Caston and Jimmy. And they're both very hard, tough on ball players. Throw in. Ryan to go against Jenkinson. Ryan got that. That was better. Taken high. Won't stop the Ox. Hand pass on to Kevin to Saunders. Ball out wide. Kicked in short from out for South Gambia to mark. Taken by Bates. Deep in the pocket. Bates fires on that northern goal. But he's going to be offline. And that is out of bounds on the fall. Should have made more of that. Just a little bit of inexperience, maybe, Jim. The young man perhaps uh, thought he might be able to bathe himself in glory, but uh, still, well done. Nice oh, mark. Good mark taken by McGinley out here, the defender. Very gallant defender he's been, too, for the Cats. Game slipping away from Castleton. They will come home with the breeze, but they will have the tired legs as well to contend with. Big mark in front, either McGregor or Sims. They raffle that one. Sims to, to uh, Glynn. Glynn chips away short. Hand went hard, didn't quite grab it. Chance for Prospery Porter. He runs back into trouble. Taken high, and Renato will get a free Jim? kick. Did he duck his head, I think? thought he did, but yeah. Callister was closest, and he's given a free kick to Prospery Porter. And he's in the better position too, Craig, so well done. Good decision, Craig. 
Renato Prosperi Porto with the Demons leading 12-3 to 7-6, 27 points the margin. Dale Sullivan will mark uncontested at centre half back. And the Cats need to conjure something. They need a goal before three-quarter time for mine. Katanch and West. West is caught. Good running, Katanch. Comes back. The Demons through the centre. Robbie Elliott left unguarded. The pass is over his head. McGowan runs full bore. Caught from behind. Holding the ball. Great tackle, Harris. And the South fans enjoy that as the great man earns a free Gee, kick. How many, how many things does this man do that just... Time and time the again. The vital touches, the uh, vital plays. Good pass to Ryan is not paid. Perhaps a little unlucky. Jenkinson and a free kick off the ball will be paid to Caston and will go to Scotty Ferguson. That man Harris, Jim, doesn't he amaze you? Absolutely oh, look, he's amazing. Absolutely sensational. I had the pleasure of playing alongside him way back in the early 80s, as you know, David. Yes. He was a magic teammate, and I tell you what, that was an interleague level and a Victorian country level, and he's just evergreen. He's just a marvelous player. Does so many of the, 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 the hard things. In front, Williamson. Not quite in tune today, Timmy, though he's tried hard. That knee obviously worrying him. And I don't want to sound as if I've written Caston and off, but that margin is significant because they've played three very solid games to get here, David. Yes, they certainly have. Would be starting to feel like their legs like cement at the moment. Free kick, Sullivan, from Mr. Grandstand Wing. Andrew Bain, Mickey Townsend coming back. Yes, Paul Sherman's about to come off. Didn't have much of a run, and Mickey Townsend's back on to prove that I was wrong. Thank you, Andrew. Didn't have to prove anything to me, mate. McGregor. No, the fly will go to Matthew Murphy, who's trying to lift. Andrew Zobel cramp, I'd say, Jim. Just a touch of cramp. Grabbed his leg. Interesting that it should be the South Gambia boys cramping a little. Good Mark Katanch. Impressed with this young man. Got good skills and good pace, Jim, hasn't he? The handball not good, but they've got the numbers. David Argent back there and the quicker legs. They're toying a little bit. Beautiful pass into the centre. Should have made more of that that time was Mark Winterfield. Kick out by Carlin. Make something of this, Caston and McGowan. Tired legs, Jim. Tired legs. His body just wouldn't carry him. He just had tired legs. Andrew Bain, are you closest to any bench? How the South Gambia bench? Yes, Patrick O'Donnell about to go on. I can't quite see who's coming. I think it's Andrew Zobel. Zobel is off, Andrew. Can you get a little closer to the South Gambia bench? I want to get the feeling down there. I'll cross back to you. Play on now we go. Fisher taken down. Maybe didn't have it. The umpires, in fact, called a neutral ball there. Good decision, Stephen Phillips. And I think they've done a pretty good job, David. Very good job indeed. Come, under, come into this grand final with a lot of criticism, the umpires, but they've certainly done a good job so far, Jim. Phillips to put the ball down. Sims, young Darren Sims, comes across here to Munro, in towards South forward line, where they've got, just got no one there, Castanon. Comes out to Kelly through sheer strength. Off the ground, Murphy. Oh, great defensive work by the South Gambia back line. And Lee Capel lets oh, his teammate know it Fantastic effort too. by Matty Fear there. It was Matty yes. Fear. What Very stopped well the done. Goal. Andrew, Andrew Bain, tell us about it. OK, well, Zobel looks like it is just cramped for him, but Peter Sims looks very relaxed. He's enjoying this, I think. Last two goals he's got quite excited over, which isn't like a coach at all. Thank you, Andrew. Keep your eye on the cast and the bench for us. We want to see how Helen, Alan Smith is taking all this. His team trailing. Good play, South Gambia. Well run down that time by Fisher. In fact, it was number 15, Mark Winterfield, getting his foot to the ball. Good tackle, Fisher. And both teams very, have been Very, very important stage of the grand final, Jim. Time on period of the third quarter. Always a very, very important Kastanen stage of any game. need a goal. They must get a goal for mine and stop South scoring. Look out. Winterfield from the hand pass from McGregor. Long. O'Donnell behind. Black comes out against him was Ryan. And the ball will go out of bounds. They better call a neutral ball and keep it here, Cassidy. And they cannot afford to give away a goal now. Would absolutely break their back now, I would say. South Gambia pushing all their players up. Harris, Saunders. Harris is running down to take this uh, ball off the throw in. Look out. Comes loose. Paul Elliott. Here's Harris. Harris, look out now. Harlan McGowan. Good hands, McGowan. Got it wide. Fires went down. Over the top of it, McGowan, who's given everything. Guthrie, what a great game. Paul Elliott intercepts. Out of bounds is the boundary umpire. Good very call lucky, mine. Very lucky there, Guthrie. Thought he should have taken the ball to the boundary line a bit earlier, maybe. Boundary line throw in. Left-hand side of the screen here at Bairns at Park. With uh, South Gambia well and truly on top of the grand final. And the sunshine bathes the ground in Mount Gambia. As the boundary umpire prepares to bring the ball back in. Up there again, Jenkinson. Dale Sullivan. One of the important parts of the Castanon side. Gets across to McGowan. 
McGowan drops in to Williams at centre half forward. Overruns the ball. Not fit, Timmy. Not fit at all. Wild kick from Fish is going to be penalised. Got him to take it. Hand passes off Elliott. He's got plenty to back up. He doesn't take it. Sims will. Bombs one to half forward. Big lead from behind. They both went too early. Guthrie. Gee, I'm impressed, but I better stop saying that. <laughs> Munro. He's battled hard. Gary Black, Jim, now. Black is gallant. In short. And the mark taken by Craig Kelly. Been a good player, Jim. Always is. Wouldn't mind having 15 or 16 of him in your Williamson, side. Williamson, they keep kicking it to the bootlaces of Williamson. He manages to control that one. Lee Capewell on the charge. The raging bull goes for the boundary line and exactly where he wanted it. He's all arms, he's all legs, and he's all heart. And for mine, he's all quality. He's the first player you'd pick every time you picked the side, Jim, wouldn't you? He's honest. Andrew Bain, tell us about the Caston and Bench. Well, there's not much emotion at all on the Caston and Bench, but there's some very stern faces. All of a sudden, I can understand why Alan Smith had the nickname Grumpy. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> not the sort of man you want to interview after the game if they lose, Andrew. I'll tell you that much. And I can tell you what, Bainey, I bet you weren't too close when you made that comment either. About 100 metres away. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I've got that uh, blue and white beanie up here. You should be wearing that. No, I'm planning a ceremonial burning of it at three-quarter time if you want to join me, Jim. OK, we'll have to get the cameras on that. Andrew Bain, our man on the boundary line, covering all the action. You're watching 8 Sport. It's a Western Border League Grand Final, and we're 25 minutes, over 25 minutes, into this, the third term. And the Demons looking OK. The Cats go forward. Glynn's there in defence. The Cats to come home with the breeze but they do have the tired legs and they currently trail by 26 points. Jim, we've talked about South Gambia's on-ball players, Harris, Elliott, Saunders and, and Co. What about the defence of South Gambia? Just Rock how good are they, solid. Mate? Rock solid and very competitive, David. How often do you see backline players don't get the recognition that they deserve, Jim? And if I can use a colloquialism, David, South Gambia don't have any cheats in their side. That's exactly they give right. 100%. That's right. I've said throughout the season, when you match them up man for man against some of the other teams in the Western Border League, they don't match up for quality, but for honesty, they come out on front, in front. Long kick going forward from Byers in front of Fisher, in fact, and Dale Sullivan. Important kick for Sullivan. This will be a very, very important kick. If Dale Sullivan can kick this goal, I would say that Cassidy has a slight chance, although I tell you what, I wouldn't mind being in Peter Sims' seat at this stage, Jim, either. Just I'm not riding Cassidy off. Don't, go, don't get me wrong there, but by gee, I tell you what, goals in Sullivan front. kicks a goal, or Good does kick. he? Good kick. No, he oh. doesn't. Oh, goodness here, me. You can hear the sigh from the bench of the Casterton, Casterton dugout. That was a vital miss. That would have put them within 20 points and some chance. The margin's now 25. Kelly and Fisher, one, Matthew Murphy rather, one-on-one. -on -one. Good play from behind Byers. He's had a good game. Yes, a very good game. And the throw-in to take place almost on the centre wing. And we're moments off the three-quarter time siren. Boundary throw-in. Young Darren Sims against Jenkinson. Kelly over the back. In goes Munro. Kelly in there again, fighting at ground level. Quick hands out to Craig Bates. Bates on his left foot, though. But unfortunately for Craig Bates, he's put it out and over the line and out of bounds on the pull. And uh, Neil Guthrie will relieve the pressure for Caston. Right in front of the grandstand here at Vanceton Park. And uh, Jim, what a fine crowd here in there once again. And the patrons of the Western Border League certainly do support grand finals here in Mount Gambia. And they've been given a contest as the three-quarter time siren blows. A big last quarter coming up. The margin in favour of South Gambia is 25 points. 12-3 to 7-8. A short break. And we will be back for a heart stopper of a final quarter. If you're thinking of buying a new television, make sure you talk to Radio Electrics. Right now, you can buy a large flat screen, 59 centimetre remote control stereo television with Teletext for just $11.99. Or you can rent for just $10.63 per week. Plus, you get a TV and video stand on casters with glass door for free. That works out to be the best value TV of its size in town. And while you're there, check out this Atasha remote control VCR. It could be in your home for just $5.26 per week. Radio Electrics, Mount Gambia and Millicent. The job you best, you've got the chance. However big or small the task, you've got the chance. For chainsaws and mowers, brush cutters too. At chance sales and service, we're always there for you. From the forest to the farm or in your own backyard. You know you can count on chance. Yeah, yeah. You know you can count on chance. 
In 1903, with a free regional newspaper known as the Exchange, Exchange printers were recognized as leaders in communication. Today, Exchange Printers provides the same attention to quality, service and world-leading brand products for communication in your office or for home. People from Exchange Printers, helping you build your future today. You can live in the past and keep trying to plug up the holes in your old water tank, but it's not worth it. Or you can step into the 21st century with a new water tank from Tank World. Tank World, the original and largest fiberglass tank manufacturers in Australia, have a 20-year guarantee on all tanks, a range of 70 different colours, and they're prepared to travel anywhere to deliver. Swan Hill Tank World Fiberglass Tanks, the permanent alternative. Stephen Phillips about to get us underway in what will be for Caston in a desperate last quarter and no less so for the leading side, the Demons. They finished on top of the ladder in season 1992 and they go into the last quarter of the grand final leading by 25 points. Jenkinson gets it to Noldy. The Cats go forward. Nige, Mickey Townsend, he was off the ground momentarily. Players go down, free kick. It will be a South Gambia free kick. You talk Andrew about Zobel. You talk about hand and foot skills, Jim. How important has South Gambia's tackling skills been? Absolutely critical. And Peter Sims, you take a bow for that one because this team can really run and they can really tackle. Doing the little things, big mark to Ryan. Mick Ryan, Duncan McGregor, the trusty left footer. Underway in the last quarter. Spots of rain coming to the ground. Elliot reading off hands. Seal the game, Robbie. And Thank he you has. very much, Robbie the Demons get the first. And Have a look at the South Gambia back line too, Jim. They can take Elliott. compliments there. Have a look at uh, Lenny and them and marshalling the back line back here. And that's where it all started from, was that fine tackle Great by tackle Andrew Zobel. On to Ryan, Ryan to McGregor, and off hands it came to that man on screen, Robbie Elliott. Andrew Bain will go down to you. Tell us about the three-quarter time huddles. Well, yes, before that, Peter Sims was extremely happy with that goal. Him and Paul Elliott of the bench here were jumping up and down. Now, Alan Smith, the three-quarter time, he doesn't think they're out of it. He's trying to G everyone up, called for that little bit more and reckons that'll be enough. He's ruining missed chances for goal. And a couple of changes on the Caston line. We've got uh, Kelly and Fisher have both gone to the half-forward line to try and get some kick there. Now, the South Camp, they were confident but not overconfident, but very keen. And at this stage, it looks like that Castor and Beanie of mine won't be in too good a hands. Thank you, Andrew. A shot there just before we came back of Barry Smith, the president of the South Gambia Club. The elusive Saunders. South Gambia going wide. They can do that all quarter if they like. They have a very handy lead now of 31 points. And the first goal of the final quarter. The Cats wanted it, David. There will the never goal. be a more important goal kicked by Robbie Elliott than that one there, Jim. He was... Uh, on the run, beautifully balanced and made no mistake. Bounty line throw in, Sullivan in front, tried his heart out. The ball comes loose down to Gary Black. Comes out here now to Fisher. Brett Fisher brings the ball in towards centre half forward. Eyes for the ball only, Matty Fear. And, and Fear will turn uh, that, repel that tack by Caston once again. Fear now on his left foot, drives the ball up over half forward. Bates is in position. Gary Black, Saunders, the ever elusive Rover, brings the ball wide, hands to Kevin Harris. Strength by Harris on the lead, Darren Sims. Harris a kick. And you could not get any more perfect a pinpoint pass than that of Harris. And there we were again, Saunders, Harris, two of the prime movers of the South Gambia Club. And certainly their skill is absolutely unbelievable. Isn't that team pattern so good? They it's just very, expect very the good. side player to be there. The Darren side Sims player is always there. Sims has a kicks. long shot for goal. It's held up. It's a, it's goal. a goal. No problems. No problems about that. And wouldn't Peter Sims be happy about that one? Young Darren, son of Robert, the famous Red Sims from the South Gambia family. And I tell you what, Jim, how would you like to be on the South Club now, mate? Oh, Darren Sims only gets a game because his uncle coaches. You know that, David? <laughs> oh. Good statement, mate. I'm sure you'll be, you'll be welcome out at South Gambia. There's tonight. Peter Sims. What a magnificent uh, coaching performance this year, particularly. He's got the boys up there looking home. 37 points up, 14-3 to 7-8. And we've played for about five minutes in the final quarter. Harris goes down on top of the footy. Ryan will tie it up. Comes out Elliott. Side player. It'll be Katanch. Meeting him nicely that time was Black. He's battled hard. Saunders on the break. Towards half forward. Guthrie has the sit. Punched away beautifully by Han. Bates reading it. They're running now, Demons. 
McGinley goes hard, will come in for a throw in, go out of bounds for a throw in, deep on the right half forward flank for the Demons, going to the right of screen. Superb and they have just so about got it parceled up, I'd say, David. Yes, I wouldn't mind being in their position now, Jim, as the ball's thrown in. Nolte still working hard at ground level. Ball comes loose, comes out here to McGinley. Now Nolte's still there. Saunders goes in hard. Catance in towards, and a fine mark taken here by player number six in Byers. Craig Byers now will relieve the pressure, hopefully, for Casson. Got not much to kick to. Casson very flat footed. Comes across to Nigel Allen, who dropped out of the game there towards that third quarter. Onto his left foot, Guthrie in the center of the ground now. Must be playing up the ground a bit. Turns onto his left foot, Kelly over the back. But a nice mark, and a very, very nice mark taken back here by David Chant, the ex Congorong player. Chant now at the center half back position. Glenn telling him where to kick. He drives the ball to the center of the ground, looking for Duncan McGregor. Up over the top was Guthrie, Matthew Murphy, McGregor. Good hands, Prosper Porter. Legs, good strength. Well done by Nigel Allen. Handball over the top to the running McGowan. McGowan just outside of 50. Drives the ball long now down to Townsend. Townsend just tries to take the mark. And I think Jimmy would have been better off to try to use his body. And yeah, I think the ball he initially through. tried to. And I think the ball just carried a little bit, dropped frac a fraction on him. I think he was thought it was going to carry more. Interesting. 22 kicks, McGowan. That was a long run too. Not quite getting there. And David, I can tell you, the unexpected has happened. North Gambia 47 in the netball have defeated Hamilton 34. Good effort by Hamilton too, Jim. North Gambia, a very, very good side. Well done uh, to Colleen Kelly, the coach of the victorious North Gambia Tigers in the A-grade netball. Matthew Murphy drives the ball in. Mick Ryan, the unsung hero here today at South Gambia. Zobel, ever reliable Andrew Zobel. But I tell you what, Jim, uh, we've talked about Jenkinson, but by G, Mick Ryan's done a lot because by G... He copped a couple of nasty knocks early on in the game. Andrew Bain on the boundary. The big ruckman, Mark West, is back on, about to contest this ruck, and Mick Townsend back off. So Townsend obviously carrying something. West off the ground is good play, but it doesn't bounce for him. He puts the body over it. Players falling on it. They'll get out of this one again. Andrew Zobel. What a player. Katanch. Over the boundary line this time, and it is on the full. And the free kick will be taken by Mark Jenkinson. He's had a great game, Jenkinson. Kicks the ball deep. Glenn underneath it. Kelly in front. Good mark, Kelly. Not paid by the umpire. Williamson onto that favoured left foot of his. Comes in now towards Munro. Drops the easy mark. Argent's over the top of it. Off the ground. Hit the post. Hit the post. Well, That's about what the goes right. <laughs> but it's not running for you, Jim. It's not running for you. But you don't cast it and have to earn every kick. It's a contest every time the ball comes to the ground. Leap and Leroy Cable, kick Cable, kicks the ball out towards McGregor. A push in the back, held his ground beautifully, and Duncan will take the free kick just inside the half-back line for South Gambia on the far side. McGregor now, on his, on his left foot. Been a big possession winner here today, advance to the park. A nice 50, 60 metre kick up high in the centre of the ground. Dale Sullivan working hard at ground level. Ball still held in underneath there. And a fine effort there from South Gambia by Mick Ryan, I think it was, on the bottom of the pack. Kevin Harris, Fact, sorry. It was that man Harris, you called it, David. Once, you, once they bounce the ball, he's there most times on the face of the pack. Stephen Phillips puts the ball down. Ryan and Jenkinson, they've done a fine job for their club. How good's the strength of Ryan? Craig Bates runs onto the ball. Quick little handball over to O'Donnell. Taking again, high, Bates. A little bit of uh, yeah, discipline there, Jim. You just don't need those things. Because Haston had possession of the ball, and... Uh, it's the old saying, play the footy, you'll get it every time. Out in front of Darren Sims on the lead. Sims up high. Oh, magnificent leap. Couldn't bring the ball down. Still in there hard as Saunders. This man is electric when he gets the ball. Inside 50. Props the ball up high. Guthrie back there. O'Donnell back there. Guthrie. And a fine mark by Guthrie. Andrew Bain, tell us about David Nolte. Yeah, well, Castor de Mar as well be playing with about 17 players at this stage. Nolte can hardly raise a gallop, and he keeps looking at the bench almost as if he wants to come off, but I don't think they're going to bring him off. Yes, thank you, Andrew, and that's a vital blow, of course, for the Cats as they struggle to get the ball forward through Murphy. Matthew Murphy, long kick. No, it wasn't, in fact. It was touched in towards the centre. Going after a Prosper Porter. Glynn taken high. Play on. Doesn't stop that young man. Jenkinson. Had a great game. How mobile is Jenkinson, Jim? Long bomb in front, Munro. Argent behind. Well read, Kelly. Kelly for goal is good. Craig Kelly puts one on the board. And they needed that one, the Cats. And they got eight goals, 10-58. Trailing South Gambia, 14 goals, 3. 
87. Well, they're not giving up, certainly, David, and just no. going past us now, a very <laughs> happy Hamilton side, because I can tell you they may have lost the A grade, David. But they but won the B grade, did they, They Jim? won, in fact, the B grade. 43 to, rather, 43 East Gambia. The Hamilton Maggies, all in fine voice, 49. Good to see. Good to see celebrations. Stephen Phillips will bounce the ball down now. Ca uh, South Gambia, 14-3, leading Casted an 8-10. Jenkinson in there again, a magnificent game. An umpire, Craig McAllister, will deem that Jenkinson was uh, was legged as he tried to get through it. And Mark Jenkinson, the recruit from the Fitzroy under-19s, drives the ball wide out here towards Williamson. On the lead, Williamson can't take the ball. Capewell stays down. Good good take by Capewell. Back here to Duncan McGregor. Good hands by McGregor. Across to Matty Fear on that left foot. Up over half forward, Saunders. Up high, too early by Saunders. Remains on the ground. Great balance by Philip Saunders. Craig Bates, there's the icing on the cake for you. And I tell you what, Jim, how well done was that? You talk about balancing players, but uh, Philip Saunders never, ever loses his footing. He always remains perfectly poised, as does Robbie Elliott and Kevin Harris. And you, it just it absolutely amazes you to see these players to play so well week in and week out. Andrew Bay, another interchange for the Cats. Yes, well, David Nolte took a risk coming into this game and it doesn't look like it's paid off. He's off now and Paul Sherman going onto the half-forward flank. Thank you and keep your eye for us, Andrew, now on that South Gambia bench. I want to know everything that is happening. Thank you. 15-3-93, the Demons. Eight goals, 10-58, the forlorn Cats, but they've battled very hard today. As I've said, they've come into this game the hard way. Three classic finals, tough finals before they got here. And the fresher legs and the quality of the South Gambia Demons will see them premiers in both A grade and B grade in season 1992. And a big resurrection by the South Club. And our congratulations to Barry Smith, the president of the South Gambia Football Club. And of course, their coach today in the A grade, Peter Sims. Big mark by Black back there. Play on, in fact. A free kick will be picked out by Stephen Phillips. And it'll be taken in the back line by number 14, a man who's had a big game today. And that's Gary Black for the Cats. See, and a lot of pressure back there, Jim, standing the Rovers. The ball has been coming down, and he's been on those elusive little blokes. Black uh, chips away. Nice pass. Matthew Murphy's. Murphy has not been uh, the best games for Matthew today, but he's tried hard. Ball going into the centre. Prosperi Porter picking it up out of there. Short pass to Duncan McGregor. Andrew Bain, quickly. I can tell you what has happened on the south bench. Peter Sims has disappeared. He's either <laughs> gone to take the heart tablets or he's cracking open the champagne already. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Knowing Peter, it might be uh, the champagne, I no, think. No, I don't think so. I see him running back on the ground now, Boney, anyway. I think uh, I think he went to check the score in Melbourne. <laughs> I think he barracks for Geelong and they were, someone was telling me they were beating the Bulldogs. Is this man Robbie Elliott? He's not a bad player, David, when he comes no, of age. No, he's a fantastic player. Into Bates. And Bates is getting into the action after coming off the bench. Well... I don't know what sort of size uh, boot uh, Robbie Elliott takes, but I think he'll be getting a new pair of boots next year. <laughs> they would be worn that. out after the 92 50 season. 50 metre penalty, Jim. And nothing going right for the Cats as number 15 <laughs> took that one. Mark Winterfield will go for his second goal and couldn't miss. I'd back you from this distance, David. Oh, mate, easy. Can you lift me left foot from there? I tell you what, I think that Peter Sims might have had a wee break, I think, Jim, would be the words to use, perhaps. I think that uh, a little bit of pressure on Simsy's face when he run past us. Recreation stop as <laughs> Winterfield puts through his second of the afternoon, and it is all glory for the, for the South Gambia Demons this afternoon. And Kevin Harris will have one of the few privileges in Western Border League footy, a premiership with two clubs. East yes. Gambia in the early 80s, and in the early 90s, he comes up and plays. In fact, 82 he played with one with East Gambia. And 92, it'll be with South Gambia. 16-3, 99, the Demons. Casterton, 8-10-58. The Gallon Cats will go down for the second year running. They were beaten by Portland last year. And a fresher South Gambia today. Craig McAllister to get us underway. We're approaching the 12-minute mark of this, the final term. And a big win coming up to the South Gambia Demons. Barry Smith's chest is pumped out well and truly now, Jim, and every reason. Harris, to me. look at this man. Handballs on towards Han, who fumbled. Little Allen's tried very hard. So is Big Jenkinson, and so is this man, Guthrie, the big three for Casterton. Beautiful kick, just getting in front and touching it. That time was Chant. Lynn goes for the safety of, of the boundary line, and everything that South Gambia do now will feel good. McGowan chips it back into the centre. Guthrie, over 20 kicks, Neil Guthrie. Left foot kick in front of South Gambia. Zobel again, Andrew Jim. Andrew Zobel. How good's this back line, Boone, Jim? Absolutely superb. Zobel, Glynn, Capewell, 
And there's this Argent. man, Harris, who's had a big Matty influence Fear. on the game. I tell you what, they've got a fantastic back line. OK, I'm going to put you on the spot, David Case. I want you to pick the best man on the ground now. Come on, I'll give you 30 <laughs> seconds. I'll give you 30 seconds, David, <laughs> to think about best man on the ground. Make it a bit easier. One from each side. Mickey Ryan about to drive the Demons forward. They lead 16 goals, 3 to 8 goals, 10. In front, O'Donnell. He kicked three early goals and faded a little bit towards Danny Clark. Through the centre, the Cats mounted challenge here, but marked in the front by David Chunt. The South Gambia defence has been superb. Ryan is loose, but he decides not to go to him. Kicking back through the centre. Clark is under it. They spoil each other. Allen, wide, Byers. Been a good player too, Jim. Had some many good possessions. Sweeping kick, Munro. Died a little bit in the second half, Justin, but had a good first half. Well, come on, David, name two players. Well, for Castadon, I think that you could not go past Guthrie. I think he's played an absolute magnificent game all day. Did the tough stuff early, came back and concentrated on the game. He, it just perhaps Pip Jenkinson, who has also played very well. And for South Gambia, I couldn't go past Robbie Elliott. I think uh, some of the touches that he's had and some of the uh, li this little things he's done has been a pleasure to sit here and watch him play the game of footy. Very hard to argue with those selections, David Case. And a few of the players want to push and shove. Kevin Harris particularly says, Dale Sullivan, look at the scoreboard. 16, 3 to 8, goals 10. And thankfully, David, it looks as if we're going to get through the afternoon without too much rain at all. Yes, it's been a fine effort, Jim. And just as we close the dying, you know, get into the dying stages of the quarter, I think once again that we should take the opportunity to, to congratulate the North Gambia Football Club. Don't they do it well? They have done it brilliantly. We know there's a lot of support in there from the Mount Gambia City Council. Yes. And I must say, David, there are a few clubs over the other side of the Victoria, or rather over the other side of the border. I didn't want to say Victoria. But there are a few clubs and a few council members over there think the game should be played, the grand final should be played in Victoria. Well, I can tell you, they should be here today yes. and seeing the preparation that's been put into this game and the crowd that have supported them. Yes, that's right, Jim. And it happens, uh, it's, it's certainly a great venue to watch here at, uh, at Bairns at Park. You can see it from all vantage points. A boundary umpire brings the ball back into play now. Players contested. Kelly, Guthrie over the top. Leroy Capewell now, who's in the white shorts now, must have... Uh, snapped his shorts there at some stage because he's in the white shorts now Leroy and he's pointing to the scoreboard to well tell him okay what's David happening. come on let's be technical what if uh, Grumpy <laughs> Smith was to say he's got the wrong uniform take their score <laughs> take their score off them no I don't, that could happen somehow you think the umpires would get out of line no <laughs> Kelly swings it on the left foot white shorts goes hard that's capable you can't miss him and over the boundary line it goes good defence Terry Catan to showed a lot of courage to come back on the field after being injured does that tip a foil typify Leroy he wouldn't care what he had to wear as long as he was out there playing the game and Jim. he's going to be in a premiership side too the first since 1974 for the Mount Gambia side the South Gambia Demons Danny Clark now races onto the ball cross to uh, to McGowan cross Great to play. Guthrie left foot shot by Guthrie oh, nice clever little kick Munro and it comes out to Munro here well there were the big names of course Guthrie McGowan and on to Munro they've had many fine players the Cats and I guess it's this time of the season when you say, well, someone has to lose it. But clearly yes. the superior side oh, in 92 with the Demons is Justin Munro puts one through. Good kick by yes, the youngster, nice number 34. Jim, I was just saying to, just, just saying to you off air, um, Peter Sims, what a dream year he's had. You know, and like those things just don't happen either, do they? Like a I know, I've had a lot to do with Peter and seen him come through the ranks, through Congo on coast to premiership the mid -Sea. Now he's coached a premiership here. He's had a league medalist. He's been coach of the year. And I'll tell you what, Jim, it started a long time ago by him going through AFL clinics and getting his level one and two and everything that Peter De Sims has got, he has worked his butt off to get. A shot of the South Gambia bench. Hit out from Jenkinson. Shark by Saunders. They make the forward thrust in front. Sims, can he get it on a second grab? No, he can't. The catch will try and tie it down there. We'll want to ball up, they say. And Stephen Phillips obliges. Calls it a draw. 6-3-99 to 9 goals, 10-64. The Cats and the Demons are dying stages of the 1992 Western Border League Grand Final. Vance the Park in Mount Gambia. And you're watching it all on 8 Sport. And the Demons will be premiers in season 1992. Jenkinson, a wonderful player. Prosperi Porter to the line and the throw-in will take place yet again deep on the right forward pocket for the South Gambia side. 
just have a little think about, or make a comment later on about Rex Harvey, the runner from South Gambia, Jim. Oh, the fittest man in <laughs> Mount Gambia, David. The fittest man in Mount Gambia. Kevin Harris cops one high. Stephen Phillips says, no, I'm not giving a free kick. And Neil Guthrie's on the vicinity. In fact, good sportsmanship from Guthrie. Very good to see. <laughs> Maybe just hope he wasn't going to get reported again. Yeah, that's right. But Neil has been a wonderful player, Guthrie. There he is on the left foot now. Yes, I'll, just get, I'll get back to Rex Harvey, Jim. He's a former Casterton player. Rex played a lot of football with Casterton. And now the South Gambia runner. And I know Rex, a very emotional person. He'll certainly enjoy this premiership with South Gambia. Elliot to Bates on the left foot. He's hooked it too far. Saunders. One point. And again, Robbie Elliott, there's a free kick here. Phil Saunders may get one. No, in fact, he's called a point. One point to South Gambia. And there's the ton on the board. 16-4-100. 16-4-100. And they have the Cats well and truly sewn up. Uh, well, and, well and truly have their measure now. Good kicking in a grand final, Jim. 16-4. Well, it shows they had a number of shots from very close in, yes, David, which yes. is indicators of their running game for mine. That's exactly right, and they pl played that possession game all day, haven't they? They haven't shot. No turnovers, very, very minimal turnovers. Comes out here now. The ball's kicked away by Clark. Overrun there by uh, Matty Ryan. By, by Ryan. Comes out here towards Zobel. Zobel kicks the ball in short. But there's Bayer again, he, uh, who's taken Bayer's, Craig Bayer's, he's taken a good mark on the half-back line. Doing he, a lot of defending. Yes, Cassidy, they are they? indeed. Comes wide here. Need to be a beautiful Fisher. kick. Yes, it has to be kicked to touch. Fisher now on this wing, on his left foot. Turns around here to Kelly, who's still running. Yes, nice mark, Kelly. Gets around Glenn now. Tries to get the ball over. Gary Black running loose in the back pocket. Takes a nice mark, and Robbie Elliott will hold him up. Black takes off on his right foot, oh. but indiscreetly. Now we'll see what happens. South must have loose players as Cassidy are all up the ground. Bates, what can he do with the football? Sims on the lead, but Jenkinson, the big frame of Jenkinson, drop back. Carlin here has the ball now and will relieve South Gambia to Byers, who has the ball now. Craig Byers, cross to uh, Byers, cross to uh, Sullivan. Sullivan running through the centre of the, center of the ground. Wayne Glenn, ever supreme, should have been paid the mark. Zobel again. He's been the master of, of the defence back there. Out to Patrick O'Donnell. Onto his left foot now. Takes a bounce in arrogance. Runs away from number 15 in McGinley. But now the advantage is paid. Comes out to Mick Ryan. A nice kick to Bates. Bates now in deep in the forward line. Will now go and look for Sims. Chips it in front of Darren Sims. Oh, should be a free kick. No Not bad luck. Should have been. Umpire, umpire Phillips lets the ball go. Cross here now to uh, Nigel Allen. Back to Gary Black. Onto his left foot. Good chasing by O'Donnell. Even at this late stage. Katanch on the run. Through half forward. Bates free kick. Cassidy play on in fact. Advantage played. Bad kick Bates. And Byers takes the mark. He breaks off that half back line. Will kick it long does Craig Byers. Towards half forward. Kelly's under it. Glenn's with him. To ground. Kelly got foot to it. Towards that outer side. Dying moments of the 92 grand final on eight sports. Western Border League advance to the park and it's a Demon Premiership in 1992, their first since 1974 and the drought is broken. Through the centre they come, long kick, in front hand, he's had a fairly quiet day yes. hand. He's done some good things though, some little touches Jim. Again, South Gambia forward, long kick, Sims wrestling, that ball will bounce through. It does from the half forward flank kick of Jason Hand, in fact it was Mark Winterfield Mark brings Winterfield, up his Jim. third. Three goals to Winterfield, three goals to Elliott, and three goals to O'Donnell for the South Gambia. And how Davis. important have the half-forward flankers been, Jim? Six goals between them, so that just goes to show they've had a fair bit of the footy there. Running half-forward line, go through them again. Robbie Elliott's kick three, Philip Saunders two, Mark Winterfield three, and three to Patrick yes, O'Donnell. Yes, all across that half-forward line, Jim. Running through and the the Cats, two goals to Timmy Williamson and two to Justin Munro, their leading goal kickers. And we're at the 25-minute mark of the final term. 17-4-106 the Demons, 9 goals, 10-64 are the Cats. In the centre, Jenkinson, what a wonderful game. Still going, Jim, for a big man and just had a tireless effort. Munro on the lead, can't mark it, should have. Williamson, battle hard, he's been injured. South Gambia out of the fence, Kevin Harris, strength, runs into trouble, should be penalised, in fact is not. Stephen Phillips, he says, no, I'll be too hard on you. And there's a shot of the Premiership coach for season 1992. And that man is Peter Sims. On his left is Paul Elliott, the brother of Robbie Elliott, the medalist in Western Border League football in 1992.
Good shot of Steve Rothwell there too, a very important part of South Gambia on their selection committee and uh, Steve has a wealth of experience and no Saunders doubt goes uh, wide. Peter would have really appreciated the help that uh, score Rothwell's given him during yeah, the Very year. good team effort, they've obviously shared it round. And Andrew Bain, just a couple of comments, do you sense now that the Demons have recognised their home? They certainly have. We've had Peter Sims here with some jubilant scenes. We've got Kevin Joukowskis back now too. He's hobbling around on crutches, so he'll be able to join in the celebrations. Fantastic, good news for him. Fantastic, Andrew. Kevin Dukowskis did have to go to hospital, but good news, he's back. And as Andrew Bain said, he will join in the celebrations. And the dying moments of the 1992 season in Western Border League footy. South Gambia, 17 goals for 106. The Castleton Cats are 9 goals, 10 6 before we go back to Peter Sims. And the victorious coach. Soon he'll be holding the Premiership Cup above his head and I certainly think he'll be passing the, the glory on to his teammates and his team, obviously, David. Jim, I was just uh, just having a little think there uh, just, just, just a minute ago. Like, uh, not one of these crowd have left this game yet and yet it's well and truly over and been over for perhaps since halfway through the third quarter and yet the patrons have remained on, which just goes to show that they've come to see a grand final and they're not going to leave. They're going to enjoy and cherish every minute that they can see of this game. And I think when you know that a team like South Gambia, who have been out of the contest for so long in the last decade, yes. are back in it, and they're going to win it today. That's certainly, they started the favourites with the crowd. The Cassidy and Cats have been there before recently. They won it in 1990. They were playing in, played off last year. So I guess the sentimental favourites yes. were in fact South Gambia. That's right, Jim. And the crowd are here to support South Gambia. I guess in the main today, there's been a very good following yes. from Casterton as Timmy Williamson takes the pass from Matthew Murphy. And Timmy would really go close to kicking this. A long raking left foot kick is just going to miss to the right. Another behind to the Casterton side there. Nine goals, 11.65. The South Gambia Demons are 17 goals for 106. And Jim, like, you've got to pay uh, compliments to the Casterton Footy Club. Premiership th two, three years ago, runner up the last two years. So they've obviously done very well for a small country town. And uh, their uh, general public at Casterton support their team wonderfully, don't they? Certainly they do, David. And they've been a credit to Western Border League football. They're always competitive. A shot there of Barry Smith, the president of the South Gambia Football Club, and he would be a happy man. Very, he's very happy. He's coached the team, he's played for the team, and now he's the victorious premiership president of the team as the free kick is going Craig Kelly's way. And we're well into time on in the final quarter. Western Border League Grand Final for 1992, and you're watching on 8 Sport. Come across to Duncan McGregor now taken here by, by uh, Cassidy and through and there's that man Harris again still running deep into defence Zobel, been an excellent player Zobel has come in here towards P Prospery Porter, played at a premiership with Glencoe last year and now comes up and plays at a premiership in Western Border League Jim, you wouldn't want to ask much more than that would you Prospery Porter now out here wide, kicks the ball wide comes out towards Kelly, Guthrie in there Bates in there for South Gambia, Katanz Guthrie spins out of attack Hands crossed here beautifully. Comes across to Nigel Allen. Good skills by Allen. Back out here to Gary Black. Good play by Black. Comes in nice and a mark here taken by Matty Clark. Danny Clark has Danny the ball. Clark, sorry. Outside 50, he'll go over that line now looking for Williamson. The hobble lead from Williamson. It's a shame to see him injured. Yes. Glynn on the break. What a wonderful game he's had. There's been many wonderful players. Look at this man talking about wonderful players. It's Robbie Elliott through the centre. Precision kick, looking for Sims. It'll drop just a fraction short. We'll forgive him that time. Back to McGregor. Come on, Duncan, get in the action. Prosper Porter, not that time. Closing moments. Who'll kick the final goal? Maybe it's already on the board as Black picks up and kicks short. And the defence of Cassidy standing firm this time. Byers, back to Carlin. Long kick towards that scoreboard side. That's Matthew Murphy. South might have 18 players on the ground, Jim, but how many are around Peter Sims in the huddle here at the moment? Capewell got the set, and Lee Capewell might have the final word <laughs> in the 92 grand final over the top of Williamson. Capewell back towards the centre. McGregor has the sit and the fly and the mark. Not that time. Harris will tidy up. What will he do? Feed it to Robbie Elliott. Why not? Who will Elliott give it, give it to? He'll give it across that time to Winterfield. Left foot pass to Sims is awkward. And the mark taken by Mark Jenkinson to Craig Byers. Still running on, Cassidy. You've got to admire their courage. This man, Tommy McGowan, has been tremendous. Over 25 kicks, McGowan. One minute to go, Jim. I see Barry Sims put his hand in the air. There's one minute to go on the grand final, and I'd Dale say. Sullivan marks inside 50 for the Cats. 17-4 to 9-11. It's a demon day. The Cats are going down in a blaze of glory, though. They're finishing on. But it has been the demon's day. Andrew Bain, what's happening on the bench? 
Yeah, so very excited down here. Peter Sims has actually stood up now. He's ready to go out and begin celebrating. Oh, come on, be brave. See if you can get just a quick word. Try for a quick word, Andrew. Come on, just come ask on, him. Come uh, He's told us he'll talk to us after the game. Okay. Not before. <laughs> I couldn't tempt you into it. Wise decision, Andrew Bain, as the kick for goal now will be from and Danny Clark. Danny. There's Peter. If you try to get me to do Grumpy Smith, I'll kill you. <laughs> With your beanie on, I think you'd be a chance. There's the siren. Can we get a word from Peter Sims, the victorious coach? And there we have it. South Gambia, 17-4-106, have defeated Casterton, 10-11-71. Barry Smith hugs Peter Sims. Andrew Bain will get lost in the crush. He'll try and get an interview for us. We'll go down to... Leave it with you, Andrew. You try it. I'm trying to get through the crush here. I'll just grab him. Be brave. Peter, Coach of the Year and now Premiership Coach, how does it feel? Yeah, great, mate. Really good. Really good, yeah. This means a lot more than uh, anything else, yeah. Just uh, we had to win the flag, and uh, those, these blokes have been terrific. They've uh, worked really hard all year, and uh, they deserve it. Nobody deserves it more than these 20 blokes. I've got a cast and a beanie to give you if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Well done, Andrew Bain. A very brave man getting a, a comment, I guess, uh, a brave comment from Peter Sims. He's rushing out to... Uh, to greet his uh, players, his victorious Premiership players in season 1992. Well, David Case, we've seen a great game this afternoon, a very, very skillful side in South Gambia. Gallant opponents who, in the end, cast and talk about them, ran out of legs. Well, Jim, like I, I still, I said earlier on the comment, and I think that that day at West Gambia, when the, when the ground was wet, sloggy, players had to throw their body on the line. I believe that really did knock the, the uh, Castleton side around. They never really recovered from that. Their zip had gone out of their game. And uh, apart from the second quarter today, I don't think they ever really looked as though they were going to win the grand final. In that second quarter, they came from behind. What caused the turnaround? Well, I think it was, you know, like we talked about the strength of Guthrie and Kelly, who uh, maybe, whether you like it or not, but they uh, tended to uns unsettle the South Gambia side a little bit. But uh, fortunately for Peter Sims and his players, that the... Uh, the siren went and it sort of halted their run and uh, then they had a chance to regroup at half time and they bounced back to a very very gallant win okay the shot of the victorious huddle there thank you david case for your call this afternoon thanks to our statisticians too louise and olivia we certainly appreciate their support they've been very accurate with those and of course to robin reed and all the production crew here at channel 8 we're going to close now from vansetter park but let me say it being an old demon from way back that it's a South Gambia Premiership in season 1992. Commiserations to the Gallon, Caston and Cats. Congratulations to Barry Smith and victorious coach Peter Sims for the South Gambia Demons. On behalf of Dave Case, Jim Buckley, signing off now from Vansadart Park.